I should uh, look up uh, your blocks, Baklunish, because I like them. I haven't got them into my obsidian yet, so... Yeah, he redid one, al and, and the ones that are too Muslim, he, he redid them. And I kind of like that because I don't want straight, real world... I think even Cuthbert might be a little bit too much, but he's so integrated in the settings, so it's too late. I don't want to rename him now, but the other ones I can still do because I haven't used them any. Yeah. 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 I don't like too much Christianity, Muslim. I, I want. I want fantasy religions in my fantasy. Just like I want fantasy politics in my fantasy too. <laughs> Not real politics. Um. Let's see here. Now I need to. Yeah. Open the obsidian. Crossing the void, beyond the wall of worlds, and along the arc of time, dwell those not of our place or age. It is too easy to say that there is dark and there is light. It is too easy to say that there are two sides to every coin. The reality is far worse, for law flirts with tyranny. Chaos invites freedom. Evil consumes all it knows. Good? except suffering. And those in the middle? They are worse, 
for they know nothing but self. The Codex Infernum and the Codex Exaltum, two source books that bring in-depth knowledge about beings of all dispositions, from the farthest reaches of the heavens to uh, the darkest Yeah, I think so. Yep, I think it's uh, of these titles final uh, schedule for, for, for my seminar. Yep. New powers it was a lot of difficulties to get them to not appear at the same time. <laughs> backgrounds, yep. names, mechanics, yeah. Well, I guess the problem is and Ed and, and you and others who are busy with more These than I am busy with. So, but it's with kind of hard to get all of us because we have like five or six things each at least. Good and evil, law and chaos on your table. The codices Infernum and Exaltum. Bringing creatures hallowed and profane into your uh, has he set up a seminar? He should today. have a seminar. Oh, good, good. Then I, I bet. Yeah, I hope it's scheduled so I can go there because I'd love to see that. I'm, I'm not into crafting, but I love to watch it and learn more. I'm, I'm super interested, even if I don't practice it. And also, I want to see the building designs and stuff like that. It's super cool for me. Yep. Well, so am I. I'm doing all this stuff myself, too. Yep. Yep. One person. In here. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you say things we're not supposed to say <laughs> before and after. Sing it would sound awful too, so yeah. Probably even worse. <laughs> oh, yeah, they, oh, oh, they can be, but they just try to sell you like crazy. Yep. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, you should be able to hear Jay as well. Oh, yeah. Hopefully, hopefully. Yep. Yep, wait that delay. Okay, okay. Well, Jay, he needs to work on the thing here. So, yep. Okay, yep. So, you need, you need to tweak your settings there somewhere. Some, somehow, yep. Yeah, exactly. He, 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 he hasn't hit. But Anna can hear me. Oh yeah, exactly. Yeah. I How about now? Okay. okay, let's see. Okay, all right. Good. So, I, 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 that, yep. all right. Wow. Okay. So I've been babbling for a while. You can't hear me. So <laughs> yep. wow. So what happened was in a split. I had it set to uh, general uh, mic, and I had to specifically set it to my headset. It's set to my yep. headset in Zoom. But in, in, but in that splitting, it went back to uh, general. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. all right, well, you missed all... about the seminars in the yes. and stuff. So, so, no, yeah. I'll, I'll share that with you all, I'm sure, uh, in a second. Yeah, ludicrous speed. Let me get that. Let me get that up. So she said, oh, sorry. I know I did this, and now where did it go? Oh my gosh. <laughs> you caught me there, Courtney. <laughs> that was good. That was awesome. But I'm looking for something, and I can't... Open file. It is here. Okay. Duh. All right. Lesser deities and demigods and Greyhawk. Oh, that's a book, deities and demigods. I didn't even realize I did that in that order that way. Yep. Start off. Okay. Sure, well, 
set. All right. Wow. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad. Uh, Skagath coming in on a raid. <laughs> Hello, Skagath. A monk hey. free raid, hopefully. Yep. Coming live. We'll come live. What time is it? 6:54. We can babble a little bit, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. You have uh, some Gary Con stuff to yeah. discuss and other things. Yep. And now they can hear me. Mm -hmm. So. That helps. That's it. Good evening, everyone. Oh, you know what? Let me set up the uh, um, classic D&D reprint of way, too. There, I hit that. Now I can go to recent events. So um, that's, that's a great a good question. question. Yep. Uh, that's a great question that. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, that we can fight about. I have so. some ideas on that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, um, I'm going to give you a babble. Yes. I'm going to give Yeah. I'm going to babble a lot tomorrow night, Bill, after... Uh, uh, the tuna fish I had to deal with last Thursday, we discussed. Oh my God. Uh oh. Oh my, I, my guys, I tricked them a little bit, a, a, a little mm -hmm. deception, and it just is like I could tell the they they were kind of uh, it was a it was a rough night <laughs> for them. So all right, so what yep. is what's going on here? Here I, I am all approved. Good. I am all approved here. So look at this. This is this is just. This is just Greyhawk uh, Gary Khan. This is not Legends and Lore because they haven't started scheduling that yet. But so we got um, here's our here's our schedule here. Uh, it's out of order. I don't know why it, it does that. Why it puts the front. I, I, I don't even know. Am I, who's mine to question why? So but what we got here is um, my events that are like you can sign up for um, that are approved and uh, starting Thursday at nine. This is Central Time, everyone, not Eastern. So this is the time of the at at Gary Khan, and that I'm rerunning puppets and then some from from the fundraiser from last year with special guests playing in that. We have two special guests playing in that game with five open signups, and uh, a pay, a special guest playing in that is Coco Bunny herself, who's on right now, and <laughs> Little Bird playing their characters. So we're gonna get to see them in a fun game. Um, which is going to be exciting. So that is. Uh, so we'll have uh, we'll have Lerja and we'll also have uh, El Elizira. Those are going to be the two characters that will get added into that game. Uh, so we'll have a, we'll have seven characters. Give me one second here. Something on this one uh, uh, zoinked out. I hate when that happens. Yeah. So uh, that, yeah, it'll be a it'll be a fun fun game. So what um, what's wrong? What did I say? Did I say something wrong? Yeah, Elzira's in that game. And puppets. Yep. Elzira and Lerja are in that. Yeah. If I'm wrong, uh, that's a higher level adventure. So, yeah, that and that is, uh, that, yeah, and it says six, but there's actually only five. And then uh, Anna and I have, uh, and Greyhawk Mike have um, afterwards at two. Um, what's up, Jeff? At two o'clock, have Legends Lore Editions Change Greyhawk Indoors. Mm -hmm. seminar and that is in Galewood C. So it's yeah, right that's up to... Legend of Lore on, on at Gary Con Live. Yeah, so Larry, yeah. yeah, Legend of Lore at Gary Con Live and that's live streamed. I don't yeah, think I... last yeah, go ahead, yeah, last year we had so many people we had to we couldn't fit all of them in the room, which was yeah. kind of that's yeah. a nice problem to have. But definitely it was, it was a nice awesome. problem to have. Absolutely. Yeah. And uh, mm -hmm. puppets I don't think I go to live stream because it's in Evergreen too and there'll be other people playing in there too. So I don't think that's yeah, gonna you happen. Can. Um, yeah. And then uh, start off with the uh, um, games. Um, thanks, Blue. Uh, Friday morning at 9, Retaliation and Revenge. That's the Slav Squad Squad. Now, yeah. it was going to be in the Chop House, but they have a space issue, and they need, they're going to have games in the Chop House. We're going to have like four or six games in there on, on, okay. on Friday. Wow. We got moved to a boardroom, though, Anna, for that game. Oh, okay. and you know how yeah. big the boardroom space is, and, I'll, and I'll, that, that's Perfectly fine for me. So that's. Oh fun. yeah, there was there was like the ones we had last year. So yeah, that, for Ed's that's game. Good. Yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's good. good. Yeah, yeah, Fontana Bay Boardroom two open mm -hmm. signups. So, yeah, uh, people... and then <coughs> on uh, uh, Friday at eleven a.m. I have my two hour seminar. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, after that, yep. Absolutely. Well, during that. <laughs> Oh, yep. yeah. Yeah. Yeah, just, yeah, doing that. Yeah. When you have your <laughs> game, I have my seminar. But Which is yeah, cool. But it, yep. Which is mm -hmm. absolutely cool. Because yep. um, it'll be live. That, that's going to be live streamed. So okay. we have in that yep. game, we have Darling, Bones, Myriad, um, Eric Mona, uh, uh, Little Bird, and then two open signups, and I think Josh okay, Popple cool. show up as a uh, with yeah. a cameo. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and then I will 
Go. Oh, sorry, go ahead. No, go. I was going to say, I mentioned the, all the slides from my seminar and stuff. I will publish them on my uh, Patreon and and website afterwards, and and I will can also have a mapping live stream when I get back home and and discuss more of them or or, or something. So cool. So, so you you will get get the, the the stuff afterwards. So yeah. And then a not to be missed seminar at four o'clock that day on Friday. Yes, I was going to say I have two seminars that I'm part of, and and I love them both, and especially the one with you and 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 Ed is. I'm really looking forward to that one. So, yes, legendary yeah. maps of Forgotten Realms and Greyhawk. It's yep. similar. It's similar to the one we did a couple. Uh, it's almost been a year and a half. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, um, for. Um, but uh, the fancy mapping show, which exactly, we with, yeah. But now we, we, yeah. So we're going to do a, a, a rerun of that with some additional cool stuff yeah. and 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 at live, and that people can ask questions. And with stuff. Ed, well, exactly. Primarily Ed, I'm yeah. there to show off the the, the yep. stuff from the computer and stuff, and and you're there to host it, and Ed is there to tell all the awesome tell the stories, stories about how yep. there's a mm -hmm. map from 1968 there, which exactly. is exactly, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and that is that that's in that's in Swinghurst. That's in the big one. Yeah, so mine is in Galewood C. So yep, it's and one that's of where our Greyhawk one is too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, then, th those are good ones. They they you can they room that you can have fifty people in there. Whoops. They have big TVs How and stuff. So they, oh, well, it's for for the deities. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I must have hit a wrong. Uh, Jay hit a wrong button here. So hold yeah. on. Yep, wrong button. I, yeah, wrong button. Well, lastly, lastly is uh, the Ed Greenway game, which is in the Chop House. So that is um, that okay. one is in, yep. inside the glass. There we go. Yeah. Thank and you, that, Coco Bunny. Yep. Mm -hmm. And that one is uh, um, uh, Saturday, 9 a.m., the, the Grand Geneva Chop House. Um, yeah, uh, right uh, right across from the club, actually. Uh, you know, so anyone walking by is going to be watching that game going. Anna's in it. Um, Ed, uh, Bill Meinhart, Tony Winslow Brill. Ooh, Chuck. Cool. Chuck it took Eric Mengi's place because he's not coming now. Oh, so Chuck okay. is, is in on that one. Thanks. Yeah. And, and, and uh, two signups. So, and mm -hmm. that's at the Grand Geneva Chop House. So there you go. Awesome. Yeah. Going to be fun, fun stuff there. So they're approved. Founders and Legends ones aren't yet, but they'll get to that. <coughs> I am always wrong buttoning it, which is great. And that's why it's a popular emote. And Taryn made that emote, by the way, uh, um, Courtney. Yeah, that's a Taryn made emote, along with the turtle. The turtle and the tuna fish sandwich they are all made by Taryn. So everyone just oh, so they know. Yeah, oh, yeah. Cool. yeah. I love she, those animations. That yeah, she's done a really good job. Like, this is, yeah. uh, that's Taryn. That's Taryn. Uh, and those, uh, this, they're all, they're all Taryn. All those. So, yep. All right. So. Deities. Yeah, she's awesome. She's fantastic. Deities. Mm -hmm. And demigods, uh, why no yeah. greater powers? I don't know why not. We just, I just said, oh, uh, Mike, Mike, and uh, brought up the, the the idea of doing lesser deities, and then I'm looking at him like, we did saints and, and hero deities, but we didn't do demigods, so I didn't want to squeeze them out, so I, I added them onto this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we'll stake away from the greater powers and see. Uh, there's so many because a majority of the player characters in my campaign. No, don't don't worship greater powers. The exception is Paylor, I think. Paylor is the yeah. one that a lot of them do, but there's very few Baca and Istis and um, Rao, uh, you know, there are very few of those uh, greater powers um, because there's not, actually, there are not that many greater powers deities in Greyhawk. They're mostly all lessers. So, what are your thoughts on that, Anna? Well, there's... Uh, lots, of, yeah. They, they, I think there is about a hundred or so, depending on where you go. I think I, I was looking at the le uh, the movie. legends, uh, living Greyhawk deities, and I think they're up to seventy something in the uh, in their list of of deities for the um, living Greyhawk campaign. Maybe even eighty. That's about uh, right. I'd, yeah, something something like that. So 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 I think we have. If you take then a couple of homebrew, some old ones that we used now and then that often been used, I think we're we're probably over eighty gods that are somewhat at least loosely associated with. And then you have some creatures that I in my campaign will definitely put into the divine creature list. And we get into the definition is something we need to discuss later on in this in these two hours too. What defines what's going into lesser deities or not, so to speak. But so I think that all in all, we have probably have a hundred, and then you can probably 
chop off like 30 or so major ones. So um, right. I think you'd be looking at 50, 60, 70 ish creatures that, that definitely qualify on this list. So, Rascal, the answer to that's yes, but it's not that, like, I don't enforce it on lessers, all right, or intermediate powers. Because, yeah. first off, how many, in order to get seventh level spells in old school for Clark, you have to be 16th level. Yeah, and th then that you, now you tie into I think something we need to discuss. What is the 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 meaning? What is the difference between the major gods and the lesser and the demigods in in the form of power or, or whatever? What defines them? In why in why is pale or and and others major ones and things others like I use and stuff question. only demigods? Yeah, in old school, it's I think the only difference I can understand mechanically is that, that they are less powerful in the stat blocks and they can also follow. not not uh, hand out 8th and ninth level spells to their clerics. Yeah. Those are the only difference I've We're staying noticed. away from Roger Moore ones because we've done all those and other multiple other uh, you know, uh, non-humans, okay. right? I think we should because... Well, th th I think we, th we, can, we can mention them in there, but we don't have to go deep into them specifically. Right. But I think as a principle... They should be included. I don't see any real difference. Some of them are even cross, like Elona. Well, I have heard Elona of Elvin. A, and... Yeah, but Elona is not a a, 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 a a monster mythology non human. No, plot. exactly. It's, it's come yeah. from a different book, but it's still kind of a, I would say, crossover between Elvin and. Oh, absolutely. And absolutely. Yeah. And Eula is the and same U way. Exactly. Eula is greater power. And, yeah, <laughs> and, exactly. So they're. Yeah, they're above our of the fray today. So yeah. So so um. And, Do you and have that's... any other differences? Mini, what what can what cannot are there things these demigods and lesser deities can't do? That well, yeah, the I mean, ones can do. So uh, so I have it that in my game, well, I use can only can, for example, I use as a demigod. I use yeah. can only grant six level spells, and only because. He's home to the prime material. So demigods can ah. do up to fifth uh, mm -hmm. level spells uh, uh, if they're home to the prime material six. So his priests don't get seventh level spells. And there's some pretty nasty ones. It's right in the Eyes Evil uh, yeah. reference mm -hmm. that, that that's yeah. the way it is. Okay. But um, yeah. I, don't, I, I, I haven't had to worry about that with lesser gods because I don't have a 16th level cler a PC cleric that's gone that high. That 16th mm -hmm. is crazy. So Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, Jeff. I'm going to be opening the Wikipedia a little bit, but I got better stuff. I, I don't, I'm not bashing anyone, but I got the old Dragon magazines where a lot of these deities are. Mm -hmm. which that, is, that's cool. Which yep. shows you the the, the um, mm -hmm. uh, you know a really good uh, a really good yep. um, reference from it. So yeah, we'll for bounce. me the, the 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 big difference between the 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 less powerful and and I've I've I differentiate my deities on a 10 scale from zero to, to or even 11, if you have to be from zero to 10. So technically 11. <laughs> zero is like saints. Those are the, the, the creatures that are beyond yeah, mortality, but they are not uh, yep. not on deity. They don't have a, 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 a deity divine tier yet, so to speak. And then they have divine tiers from one to 10. 10 are the most powerful ones and, and the ones we're talking about from from 0 to 10 we're talking about one is a quasi deity and and two are hero deities and three are minor demigods and four are major demigods and i would have it i use somewhere three or four i'm not going to tell exactly because it gives what powers they can do and and the difference is that the number of agents meaning how many clerics can they have or can they once they start losing clerics, meaning how many clerics, meaning divine agents, can they give power to at a time or assign new ones, so to speak? And also, can they um, can they also delegate that to others or like minor ones? They have to actually personally give the spells to each cleric, meaning they can only have so many new clerics per week. If they have a go to war and they, their clerics get killed, they can't replace them that quickly. That's one of the, the majors. So the, the bigger the gods, the more clerics they can they can uh, ordain, so to speak, per week or per year or whatever it is. Plus the fact that they can also start giving away divinity. They can sponsor other beings to be divine. And that's something that the demigods can't do. They no, can't. I agree there too. Yeah. So so that's another major power that the major gods can they can create 
helper gods, so to speak. And when you rule a whole pantheon, you can let other beings into the pantheon and become gods. Demigods and lesser deities can't do that. And then you have senses. They they can't sense as much. Like the, the, a god can see th things through its um, holy symbols. It can see things through the eyes and ears of any worshiper and stuff. More of those powers come to higher level gods. So, so demigods can only do a little bit of that. And mortality, there it's harder and harder to kill a, a more powerful god in in my campaign. So, so those are the the criteria, so to speak. And demigods are, they can issue, they can, for instance, uh, a minor demigod, they can promote one cleric per week, and they can delegate uh, agent to subordinates, so to speak. So they can they can have a, like a bishop or a high cleric that can actually ordain new clerics and 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 get new clerics uh, brought in so to speak well only one a week that means that it's kind of tough once once your clerics you go to war and your clerics start dying it, it's you can't replace them that quickly so to speak What's up, John? So, so those are the things and also you can um, you you can you, you can hide yourself in phylacteries and and various they, gods have tricks the more powerful they are the most difficult more difficult they are to kill. So, and I'm going while I'm going to talk about this, I'm just going to post a link uh, to my. Please, so do. please you, t yeah, post the link so so you can because I posted that on my Patreon today. So, by the way, uh, like I said we got classic D and D reprints uh, tonight. Giveaways, please exclamation point drawing. Sign up. I got a whole pile. Boom. Yep. Oh, I forgot my I forgot my uh, shield today. Oh well, don't need it. So, all right, so Anna's posting something. Quest Junkies, good to see you. Thank yep. you. It should be available for everybody now. And uh, I have not seen it I'll yet. I said it and to be. So, there we go. Those are my rules for, for deities. The nature excellent. of the divine. Yep. So, note this. The, stuff changes over the editions, going from first mm -hmm. all the way to fifth. So, yep. um, we're going to try not to argue the semantics of everything from first to third to fifth because there's a lot of change and let's discuss the deities that were pr that fall into this category and, and yeah, first and yeah you have the lore around the deities and then yeah. you have the mechanics around the deities and the mechanics yeah. have changed the lore have changed a little bit but not that much it's the mechanics that have changed how you how clerics work and how deities working and they were much more hands-on in the early editions because then they had stats and and they were just like a dragon or some powerful creature you can you can actually get up and fight them and kill them so to speak and they they were and then they were in third edition they kind of convoluted it a little bit because you had aspects and and stuff like that <sighs> but they still had came with stat blocks so you can actually kill them so to speak do you do, would you allow that in your campaign that they could kill a god by no, coming up and my game's not that style, right? So yeah, oh yeah, exactly. Yeah, you know, yeah. it's never. I mean, they've probably come across a deity like at yeah. the end of Temple of Mental Evil. You see Saint yeah. Cuthbert and I use mm -hmm. parlay. Yeah. I mean, now yeah. there is one, uh, but but she's weakened. You t you actually mm -hmm. banish Zugtmoy in oh, Temple yeah. of Mental Evil, mm -hmm. but yeah. she's weakened unless you open all mm -hmm. the gates. And then if yeah. you open all the gates, she's getting away uh, yeah. and, and, and Temple of Elemental Evil. Yeah. So there are some cases, uh, mm -hmm. you know, there are exceptions. But you can keep it thematic. You can keep it more like on the, it's more like uh, setting the stage. It's not like you can kill the deity, but you can kind of, it's there and you can do things or whatever. Well, so, yeah, absolutely. So, so you, can, you can tweak yeah. it and just let it be story-wise, or you can have full mechanics and say, okay, if you win all the roles and stuff, you can actually kill a deity. Or you can, loo like me, make it more like that's a campaign goal. You can't really... It's not a monster you can go up and, and kill. The best thing you can do is that you can kill one aspect of it, and then you have to get all the phylactery, and you have to raise all the churches and temples and, and do all the other stuff, too. So kill a god in my campaign, it's not impossible, but it's something that you need a century, or or a and, and you, you need an army, and 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 it, it's, it's a long goal, so to speak. And the the major ones are almost impossible to kill. Only other gods can do it. It's like one war from one religion, God can wage war against another one. That's the only way to do it. So so uh, so, so, so you can do it. Yeah, it's been forty four years, and yeah. I don't count. I think some people. I'm not talking about major ones. 
lesser yeah. lesser demon devil lords here and there. They've come across. They had a fight with the Spader once. Yeah. But that's not fighting Asmodeus, right? That's just not. No. It's not the same. Yeah. But would you consider the various like powerful demons and stuff? Would they be lesser deities? Would they be on the deity? Yes. List? Are they divine beings too? Uh, I guess so. But uh, but once yeah. again, mine they're definitely. That. They don't what fall into the to? discussion onto yeah. Greyhawk deities though. In this no, case, no. They, they, it, it depends. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Because they thematically they have not been considered. Right. deities they've been yeah otherwise i consider them deities in my campaign but that's a different thing well yeah there's a main so fallen god yeah courtney the biggest one and it's a greater deity is which yeah. you know and that's which yeah that's a no kind of other cool. uh, yeah and that's a whole nother discussion in itself with uh rob kuntz on the creator of it Mon yeah. monks are lesser <laughs> i know you go there demon lords are <laughs> yeah they're lesser powers but once again you can call a lot, a lot of things for this discussion, um, but we want to talk about the flavored specific Greyhawk ones and show you all all the different options you have. I think that's the best bet on this discussion. Show you the deities that are, you have at your disposal. Everyone, you know, you have Orcus and you have Demogorgon, all those always, but uh, a lot of people don't know about the, the specific Greyhawk deities, and that's where I love to get this discussion rolling here. So show you some background let me go here 83 box sets where it starts so when the 80 glossography comes out there are no deities in there and i've talked about this multiple times mm -hmm. i don't have deities in 1980 for greyhawk so guess what my the deities and demigod book is my are my deities list now when 83 came out we finally had some deities and when dragon magazines came out we had some hey old world good to see you but here's the start <coughs> of the deities yep. list is here um, uh, in the table of content, and it's on 62. page sixty-three, so it's the yeah. at the end. Yeah. yeah. So just go down here. Oh, I went past it, and it's not a lot of uh, deities in the world of Greyhawk. Uh, this starts it off um, with your base ones, and here you have greater and lesser gods, uh, and they have, there's ones in here that are not mentioned anywhere until okay. later on, like Alatur. Mm -hmm. You oh, know, yeah. uh, 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 um, and there's ones in here that are actual specific to Land of the Kafka, the Soul Gods. So, um, like, I don't even know who Sindor is. Am I supposed to? This is in here, Sindor. Yeah. I don't know who that is. Sindor is one of the. Uh, oh, I forgot now. It's it, uh, is that uh, is that a, is that a Leonard's um um yeah, uh, yeah, time it's god? A, it's, yeah, it's, it's a, a time god, and and it's only only common. But who is it, I, Sam? I don't even know who that is. Yes, it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's, so it's. I want to have them coming from somewhere, so to speak. But on the other hand, no, they can be lenders, fairly lenders. new gods, so they don't have ancient soul or Ridian or Flan roots. So, right. so they can be new ones, like Mayahin, for instance, as as a new one. So, right, that's not in here. It appears it, it, exactly. In second, yeah. yeah. Second edition. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so there are some, someone that that comes in late. So, so I have them. They are not really rooted in old Sewell or old Flan or old Iridian because they actually came into the right. setting so late. But they have. So they are rated in my command common, so to speak. And Sindor seems to be because Sindor only has a common, doesn't have a Flan. You see, some of them like like Ali to reference this is Flan common. So then we know that yeah. it's Flan roots, but it's being widespread. Uh, worshipped in more than in old clan communities. So yeah. So there's stuff. That, there's and <coughs> trust me, there's deities here that aren't listed at all in here. Oh yeah, yeah. And you know, <coughs> we have clan common, Oridian common, and right. and we have Sul common. So and then Thanks, we have the strict ones. So so and forty one months. And some that are seem to be lost, like the lesser god Deleb, for instance, the only Oridian, not common. So so that's one that to me tells me that it seems like Deleb is on the way out. It's Possibly. less worshipped, yeah. But I know a lot of people with sages worship Deleb, right? Yeah. So um yeah, and then you got a listing here. Like Xavier yeah. is, is listed in this yeah. in this grouping as we come down here. Uh, and look, so we got. Uh, we'll just go this That's real quick. Delib is probably being out uh, competed by Rao. Seems like so. So that might be that that Rao is gaining uh, influence and worshippers, and Delib. I'm not sure. Be... No, but uh, I'm just trying to overinterpret, overthink <laughs> the, the information here, so to speak. I'm. I'm. I'm it's like having a few numbers and then have to kind of extrapolate from that little data we have. 
Please note, we did a Saints and Hero Deities discussion previously. Yeah, a while ago. A while yeah. ago. So, mm-hmm. uh, yes. Um, so, Warren for that shows up a tad. But, um, yeah. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what that means, Sam. Tab 98. I'm not sure what that means. I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, uh, t- tab is the the um uh, oh that that's uh, from the ashes uh, somewhere I think it's it's one of the, oh uh, oh uh, oh yeah, it, adventure begins yeah exactly oh, that era yeah Greyhawk the adventure begins yep okay that's yeah, that's two point five I don't remember those yeah uh, no it's it's uh, no it's uh, that adventure begins is like a late t- second edition era yeah it's Roger it's, Moore it, yeah it's that era just before right. the third edition came out. They yeah. put up twenty fifth anniversary. Stuff. The adventure begins. Yep. I, we always I, we always call that two point five because it's it's before mm-hmm. third, but after, uh, after exactly. second came out. Yeah, yeah. All right, so let's um, let's hit some of these up here. Also, here Greyhawk Adventures is another mm-hmm. place where they go into more detail. Yeah, they de- yeah. Right. They flesh them out. A bit some more. of them, but there's less even are, are, in here. Are the, are the ones from Greyhawk Adventures, are, the, are some of them are the same ones in, in from the 83 box set, or are they only, are there other ones? No. Like uh, Celestia, uh, uh, is Celestian uh, listed here, for instance. Yeah, they're all. Yeah, oh, yeah, there, there are some of them, yeah. But they're uh, more, they're going deeper in, in They Greyhawk go deeper, Adventures. and they also have, add spells in, and they add some other. Yeah, some, because they have second edition which up, which up things great. there for specialty priests and which, stuff. In, yeah, in which Greyhawk is cool. Adventures. Um, yeah. And then there's Ula Major. I mean, there's a lot even less in here. So yeah. uh, the best place to go are here to start. Dragon 67 to 71. That's the best place to go mm-hmm. by far because you're going to get these and, um, and you're going to go down here. And we're going to go into Deities and Debbie Guys, the World of Greyhawk. And we're going to go to page 15. So this is, the, is this 60, 67 is the first one. Right? Okay, look, we even got the. We got, uh, the one reason yeah. I love going to these mm-hmm. is because it, it, it gives you an unedited, raw feel as to what, what they were doing uh, at this time. And these are written by Gary. So, World of the Deities uh, um, and Demi Gods. Uh, yeah, uh, I have them too, uh, but I have them individually. So, because I like, um, for example, if we talk about, let's say, we go and want to talk about Osprem, look, I can boom, I can just bring Osprem up. I have them separated out for full discussion, so I have those as well. Yep, and they are all Leonard's, and I think there's one that's 82, 80, 88, 89, 90, 92. I think there wasn't a 91 for some reason. So, which is really weird, but so uh, 67 here, and it talks about, you know, um, uh, I, so I completely note that these abilities are far more extensive than those listed for the deities treated by uh, 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 Messrs. Ward and Kuntz. At the risk of speaking for these esteemed authors, I venture to suggest that the powers and abilities of the deities of the Flanders are in fact common to most other deities as well. So it gets into um, a lot more of the powers beyond um for, uh, for here that a lot of them get that they don't even talk about so standard divine abilities uh, you know which really gives them a little more if you're going to use them as a stat block but I, you know that's not, not what i would suggest um so uh and then let's why don't we just start here with some good discussion on the two brothers uh oh yeah, yes yeah you got Her- so right off the bat you go with two great ones heronius and hexter which mm-hmm. i mean campaigns an entire kingdom Great Kingdom is based on these two, right? Mm-hmm. You know, they are a central part of, of of the martial culture of the Great Kingdom and of the origins, and 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 there are and then you add the Bastion of Faith. Yes, you you add that into to this as well. Here you have the 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 stat blocks, old yeah, school stat blocks of of them, but you get some of the myth from Bastion of the Faith, and 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 I took all this and then ran wild with it so to speak so so yeah so so yeah but please continue no i well, we have si- so uh, uh, yeah. it's a good no it's, it's it's a great discussion so and it just says heronius is the champion of rightful combat and chivalrous mm-hmm. deeds he's yep. a deity for those who fight for honor and strive for order and justice it has a question mark after i think that's a typo Instead of a, yeah, yeah. Heronius often leads the seven heavens in order to move around the prime, prime material plane. Um, and so, uh, you know, uh, Heronius, now I want to tell you right now, I hate. See what's in his hand right here? See this picture? 
I'm gonna. Yeah. This is gonna be five E bashing, everyone. See that picture? Mm -hmm. He's a glory axe. He ain't a glory sword, right? Yeah, glory but axe. I, 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 I love the change. I love the fact that he had axes, and I love the change. And so I uh, wrote that into my lore: why the change happened and when the change happened. So back in old Oridian days, prior to migration, before the, the before the Great Kingdom, before they were settled in the Flannies and became an empire. Then Heronius had an axe because then they were more primitive and 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 axes because axes are cheaper because you don't have the easier to make than, than swords and and stuff so so in that sense they're more primitive they doesn't do less damage but they are more primitive in that sense they're easier to make because you need less steel and and it's easier to to it's more difficult to make a good sword than it is to make an axe. When it comes to metal, metallurgy and stuff, and and a black, a, 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 one of the players we had who was actually a smith who who made these stuff, he said it was much easier to make an axe head than it is to make a sure. sword. So so that's why by when you were more primitive, it was probably easier and cheaper, for, especially time wise and and material wise, since the one axes are are cheaper and easier to make. So so I have it that back in the day, pre migration or early during the migration. Then Hieronius had axes, but then once they became an empire and they got richer and, and evolved the technology and stuff, then swords became the new symbol of both justice and, and battle prowess and, and, and wealth and all of that, and it became status. So that's when Hieronic, the, the, war, the knights and stuff changed from having axes, and also the flan used axes way more than swords because they were didn't have the advanced economy and the advanced technology. So they relied more on axes and you don't want to have the same weapon and symbol as the enemy. So that's when they adopted the sword and it became culturally or preferably to, to have swords and they were seen as civilization, law, order, and, and all of that. So I have it as part of it was economic technology and part of it was fashion and, and, and more of a statement, so to speak. So that's how I, kind of been weaving that into my lore for my okay. campaign. I respect because, that. Yeah. So, I'm gonna so, say this is this is on yeah. the on the realm of vampire thromal and all the other crap where mm -hmm. uh in a clavdra where someone made the change and just did it and then everyone's trying to back reason why they did it. Well, exactly. I, okay. I, I told the I told the <laughs> acknowledge that yeah. mine is a kind of a way to solve yeah, conundrums. So absolutely. Speak, so. Yeah. Absolutely, but um, mm -hmm. like I said, I I, I love that uh, uh, the name. But if you I love that, that the axe, yeah, yeah, keep keep it. So yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and that's why I have that old, really old shields and old symbols of Heronius. Then he has it, so to speak. Okay. So, so the church still acknowledge that it used to be axes. Nowadays, it's swords, and it's okay. been swords for over five hundred years. Okay. His brother, Hextor, champion evil, herald of hell, scourge of battles, a deity of many soldiers and yeah. fighters, who mm -hmm. deem lawful evil most fit to rule, admiring war and discord. Now, you got to remember, a lot of this is unpolished writing, too, which is good. So you get yeah. like, Gary's mm -hmm. thoughts on, yeah. on, on, on the deities in these articles. Mm -hmm. um, so, um, you know, the latter is his half-brother and chief enemy. So, yeah. yeah. Um, you I, know. I, went, I went crazy with it. When I figured out my... The rules for deities and stuff. I have it now that that originally they were just two mortal Oridians, so to speak. That their rulers and warlords that fought that had different principles and stuff. That's how it started, like three, four thousand years ago or something. So, so they became established early, but then they've been the, the uh, nowadays. Uh, Heronius and Hextor are actually aspects of uh, Tiamat and and Bahamut. So, so they have become the, the arch paladin and, and, and the herald of hell, so to speak. So they are now aspects tied into the greater uh, struggle between good and evil, so to speak, and between the lower and the, the, the higher planes. So, so, that's, so now they're part of that titanic struggle, so to speak. But that's something that have happened over... Oh. The last hundreds, several hundreds of years, but so so the the the, the big powers wanted in on 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 settling their score in the the Flannies too, because when you have so many worshippers, 
they pay attention, so to speak. So, so, so this story, gods evolve in my campaign. So they, they haven't always been aspects of Tiamat and Bahamut, but they became that. See, uh, yeah. Leonard would really argue, fight if he was alive, would fight with you on that. Because, oh, yeah, I, I know. Because yeah. he has them in Bahamut and Tiamat as greater de demons in his soul pantheon mm -hmm. alone, which yep. is interesting. Yeah, yep. much prefer to. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. and uh, hey, Taryn. And um, I would, I would argue. Then I would. My counter argument to Len will be say that well, Tiamat and Bahamut has been fighting each other for longer than human. They before humanity even existed. Yeah. So, so this might be the third encounter uh, incarnation of of okay. deities and stuff. So, so yeah. Cool. So. Yeah, it, because you get more worshippers if you appear less dragon-like and get an aspect of, of, of the the other one. So it's like a, a power struggle between the deities and, and the worshippers and between worshippers and worshippers and stuff. So so it's my way of overcomplicating things. That's all right. Um, Hexor is much honored in the Great Kingdom. We all know that with mm -hmm. the knights, uh, you know, yep. uh, just a huge... He kind of won the Great Kingdom in a way. After when Ivid took over, they kind of won and and Hieronius won in the west, meaning Furiundi, Shield Lands, yep. Veluna, and stuff. So, so, so it seems to me like a lot of the uh, Veluna's Hieronius more row than Hieronius. Veluna's oh, one, yeah, yeah, but yeah. but meaning what I mean is that Definitely Hieronians the left the Great Kingdom in more numbers and became strong in in Western Erdi, that then later became Nyrond and and the Ferond and 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 Veluna and and so on. All the the Western Erdi countries that are no longer part of the Great kingdom and hextorians were the one that took over in the core lands of the great kingdom and then that fell apart too eventually so 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 it's kind of yeah i i, I see a pattern there that that heronius won in at at home but hero or sorry sorry heronius won in the fringes that became bigger right. than the core and and hextor won the core so to speak skifaius for now skifaius and saint Cuthbert. we'll come back to those two yeah We'll come back to those. Um, oh, yeah, so yeah. There, so a lot of, you know, it just depends on your campaign setting. Yeah, you can tweak this. There's many cool ways you can you can yeah. go with this. Yeah. Knights of Holy Shielding and, and the Shield Lands are huge. It's, uh, you know, there's a lot of uh, Holy Shielding. There's a lot mm -hmm. of uh, Knights uh, and Characters of Worship, Heronius and, and for your Undie as well. Uh, yeah. A lot of places in Hextor, you know. Uh, one thing about Hextor, it specifically states, and this is where I like, Gary's going kind of in the direction of talking about what's what's going to happen with clerics, mm -hmm. uh, you know, and and uh, I, I I think I where is it? It's right here. It's, here it is. Yeah, I think Pre we're mostly done with the five E bashing for now. We might come back to five E bashing later. So oh yeah. uh, no, I'm I'm not done with Algex. <laughs> I'm kidding. So um. Priests of Hextor are trained in assassination, it says right here. So that yeah. at the gaining of six level of clerk ability, one level of assassin ability is also gained. So he's thinking about this mm -hmm. back then, which I think is cool. Yeah, but it yeah. yeah, and it ties into the fact that Hextor doesn't have any moral principles. He is about sneaking yeah. up and killing people from behind. Yeah, I like that. Perfectly. Yeah. It's well, really yeah, cool. It, it fits their thematic. And, but I, Jay, you said something interesting with with in Veluna, it's uh, Rao. Rao is the major deity, yeah. which is kind of interesting because Rao is originally a Flan deity. So it's interesting to see in when you have Veluna, Furiundi, and to a little bit degree Shieldlands, they seem to be more a mixture of Flan, Oridian with a little bit of Elven together, so to speak. You have a blend there that. At, Come and then you have Cuthbert and and a bunch of others yeah. coming later. And then in the east you have more of the 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 core Oridian with with Faultians and and Hextorians and and others. So you have more more Silches and stuff. But there are some Silches in the west. So it seems to me that you have more of a cultural blend of deities in the west and then more core Oridian in the east, so to speak. Yeah, Sam, uh, Sam, City Ground box set specifically goes there. Um, and I have just a feeling, like St. Cuthbert, ah, I think, is generally okay. worshipped yeah. everywhere. Um, I have a feeling it has to do with, um, just because they call it the arch clerisy of Valuna. I think that's yeah. the only reason. Yeah. So they want to go, well, if it's an arch clerisy, we should go with greater power. That's that, that, that's the only thought I could I can think. And yeah. Paylor's there, for, too. Yeah, for, for me, it's interesting. Rao and, and Cuthbert are both 
really good gods, but they they cater to different parts of the population. Cuthbert is the god for the common man, so to speak, and and woman and child and whatnot. He's the the god to keep order, to help them, to support them, to keep them in check, and make sure they're faithful and and so on and so forth. Rao is the god for the elite. For, for the learned, for the rulers and stuff, in order to keep them honest and 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 good and and to give them advice and and make sure that they don't start too many wars and they are wise and strong and 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 so on and so forth. So so they I have their worshippers come from opposite ends of society. Rao is the god for the high and mighty, and Cuthbert is the god for the the common. The commoner more than the yeah commoner. no I agree on that uh, that uh, yeah that uh, Cuthbert is by far the common man's yeah uh, yeah Greyhawk it, it's deity. the one that yeah oh, yeah. yeah meaning yeah. in, in like in the human. village of Homlets it's the villagers that go to to Cuthbert or they yeah. go to Jeru the, the the druid or both in order to to seek help and get protection and and serve the community and stuff Rao is the one that will have a temple in Veluna City where hasten and stuff and will be the ones that <clears throat> may make sure that the, the the country is run properly and 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 the rulers and the nobility and we'll make sure that the the nobles and stuff are noble so to speak and 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 so on that that's the way i i treat them so they have they they cater to different demographics they have the same values in a lot of sense but that they they and same morals it's just that they cater to different groups in society let me go um we go to 68 and see what we got here. Yeah. 68. But Basically, that's my three. interpretation. You can, you can. Yeah, yeah, no, say, absolutely. Yeah, you can, you can change it and say, well, Rao is for, for everybody to get good advice Cloister, and stuff. Cloister so, yeah. Cleric class oh, by there you have, that's, yeah, Oh, yeah, he's that's kind of, inter- yeah. But th- I love that, that, that angle to it because not all clerics, meaning if you take the standard cleric class, it's the, the priests that go out on an adventure, but most priests probably don't go on adventure. They're there to, to cater to temples, administer things, help people, take in fees and, 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 and take in, run the economy and, the, and defend and so on and so forth. So the weather, they don't the go out and, and, and yeah. yeah, kill dragons and, and loot treasure and stuff. They, they are there to, to serve the, their communities and their worshipers and take in the money and build temples and stuff and run them yeah so that's correct curtis this is early on this is our and this is why i'm going here this is my first taste of greyhawk deities right this is this is the beginning of it which is really cool look you got a lot of stuff is that's appearing in these in these uh publications all going on after cana these are all after cana spells right now i'm scrolling through crystal brittle energy drain they both appear in um and yeah. on a scroll in G- G2. Yeah. So you're going to find stuff in this area of gold. All right. So I think this is just Celestian and Farling in this one. Which, oh, uh, which issue was that? This is the next one, 68. Uh, this is, okay. uh, oh, Fultus is in this one too, so I'm going to go here. All right, let's start with Fultus. <coughs> yep. Because we're talking about Fultus. That's a, that is a definite type of Fultus. So that is typo. Uh, yeah, they're pretty bad on their, on their oh, type Oh, they didn't do editing at all in those days. Yeah, yeah. wow. Yeah, that's not even close. So, yeah. Fools us, yeah. It is said, the regularity of sunrise and sunset, the cycles of the moon, are as fixed as a resolve of Fultus to show all creatures the one true way. A strict path which allows no deviation, but gives absolute assured... Assurance of righteous, rightness. I guess you say righteousness. So um, there you go. Um, and here, here it says, Foltus, who uh, ordered the rigid protect, progression of the sun and moon, maintains them in a regimen. Such claims are not regarded as doctrine. So there you go. Some contradictory there. So Foltus yeah. is, um, as you can see here, this alone, I think, is where Sergeant goes nuts on. It's just this neutral in parentheses next to it. And he goes, well, there must be lawful neutral really crazy wackos. I'm going to make all of the theocracy of the pale and from the ashes box set worshiping the lawful neutral aspect. And I know Tim has a real, uh, uh, you know, the ever mysterious Tim has a real beef with it because he's like, oh, we've used, and he's correct. Foltus was a, in his game, his dad and he was an alternative to St. Cuthbert worship. In his game early on, so I know that um, you know it's a lawful good. Fault is a lawful good god with a with rigid, rigidness. Yeah. So is Saint, so is Saint Cuthbert, by the way. Mm-hmm. So yeah, but 
there in on, in this dragon there's also another uh, pair yep. of gods that are really really interesting that also i think really kind of cool and and well uh, set in and firmly set in the greyhawk setting as well the celestian and oh Malang. yeah yeah i'm gonna go yeah. right to them in a second uh yeah. so uh, you know not splitting hairs but third edition everything uh, everything goes there uh, sam i think le i know anna's in there i don't want to get into a uh, a, a pissing contest. I just think that's too far. Le Foltis worship, but that's okay. That's okay. Yeah, you know? but I think it's the, it's a trap we often go in. It's more fun to have a lot of evil gods because yeah. they are more useful as villains and and stuff like yeah. that. But I think it started in in with the Gord books, to be honest, because the pale they are not seem to be the 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 welcoming uh, 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 dudes that that. Meaning that they seem to be kind of a, a, a harsh bunch, even in the Gord books. So, so, so the Tenna host and the Paleites, they they seem to be a tough bunch, even in the Greyhawk, the Gord books. So, I, I wouldn't be surprised at all if Carl Sargent got a lot of inspiration from those stories. That that they don't seem to be that sympathetic. It's not the the nice, uh, good-hearted knights that welcome people that much. So, 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 so Carl Sargent seemed to run with it and. Also, Carl Sargent seemed to want to invade, uh, invent villains everywhere, so and stir up war and, and trouble everywhere too. So, yeah. And once again, you know, as editions go, things change and things yeah. expanded. So. But it's the, it's a good example. Then you just take after the real world because look at real world religions; they have changed and waned and waxed and waned. Look at Christianity; it's also been on the war war front sometimes, and and then gone back to be very peaceful and and domestic and 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 subdued, and then go, been warlike and extremist again. And I like it when fantasy religion can can change over time, so to speak, to make campaigns more dynamic. But you don't need to change all of them. You definitely right. shouldn't. You should only change the ones you want to, so, so to speak, and the ones that need yep. you. But but, but Celestian and Falangan are, are interesting. Yeah, here we are two Oridian brothers again, just like uh, mm -hmm. Heronius and Hexter. But here it's not the alignment that is the difference much. Here it's the scope, what they're interested in. Yes. Meaning Heronian and Hextor were two warlike gods that just wanted to wage war in a different way for different reasons. But here are two gods that are both kind of, I would say, are they neutral or good? They're, 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 they're neutral good. good. They're both good, but mm -hmm. they have, they're in, oh, interested no, no. in the Falling world. Central. Yeah. Yeah. But so, but they are more like Celestian is the big outreach and knowing about the multiverse and astronomy and and, and stuff like that. And Falangan yeah. is one go, how to safely go from one town to the next, so to speak. That so so it, it's uh, Falangan is a too. good adventuring type, wandering adventurer mm -hmm. yeah. type. type uh, I can deity. see the, yeah, I can see the one that that if you want to set up a chain of of uh, of uh, inns and or, or like. Uh, the travel agency is like the triple A, the fantasy version of triple A, so to speak. You can the, the clerics and others who who uh, take it their missions to to protect travelers and make sure that roads are safe and and all of that stuff. So so they feel a practical purpose. And Celestian, it's the one more for rulers and other and and knowledgeable peoples and stuff who want to know about the world and in large, not the local world, but the the beyond your home turf, oh, yeah. so to speak. What's out there in the world, meaning study stars and other planes and, and stuff like that. I love having, uh, and I've done it a lot, the Stargazers Retreat in Harby. And there's uh, the place that um, Nuclear Meat went to uh, to, to rescue uh, the kidnapped uh, woman uh, yeah. was, a, was, a, was a, had an observatory. I love using observatories and all that. I'm just, yeah. I'm not into the, the, the. Spelljammer aspect of it, like especially like no, Alden same is. here. I, I, I th know? that's too much uh, spacey for me. So, <coughs> yeah, but do you have Navigators, that Celestian? Can they uh, foretell things, or can they find out things? Or uh, what, what, so how would you use a Celestian priest, for instance? So, so uh, <laughs> yeah, this, that's one of the few. This like Ral, a couple of them are, do not have specialty priests worked up on them because no one of my players have ever asked me to run run one. We have far laying ones, but we don't have special oh, yeah. ones. Yeah. So it hasn't come into play as far as. Yeah, I I would see Celestians way more as 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 uh, NPCs. That they, they are the ones that will be advisors and stuff to right. kings. That will be the the royal astronomer <laughs> kind of thing, meaning the royal oracle, the royal someone who who would know about the world, so to speak. Meaning kings and emperors and stuff. They might have 
have a Celestian priest or a few hired at the court in order to inform and keep an eye on things and 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 stuff like that. Just like you have would have a, a Rao priest hired to to keep track of things, and then the the uh, the Falangin or Falang priests will be the ones that run the the uh, the a chain of of temples to keep the the trade routes open and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, for, I like. I like Farlang a, a lot as far yeah. as... Uh, I, I love the name, too. Mm -hmm. I, I always wonder, we, we, Nork and Amy, we speculated where the, the name came around. And, and it's interesting. To, to travel far in, 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 in pseudo-Swedish will be far along. And so, and, and, or far langen. So I'm pretty sure that is some German or Nordic or something like that in the name of far langen. Or Falang, uh, or however you pronounce it. <clears throat> so it's it's kind of yeah. So it's kind of it's like Verbig or something. It's a play with words, which I think is very Gygaxian to do. So yeah, I always thought like it was a Celtic, a, a Celtic deviation or something, but maybe not. Far yeah. lane. You're it's, right. It, 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 yeah, it's it sounds to me in 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 Germanic or of the Nordic and stuff. It sounds very much like travel far, so to speak, in, in, in various uh, now, Germanic languages. What's yep. cool, let me go to Jim Ward's box set here. What's cool about this is, and why I love this book so much, is when you go to magic items, and you go to, in the 70s, you're going to start seeing named gear, like named special items. Each of them has, um, well, one of them, I believe, is in Arcana, though. So maybe they both are. I'm probably gonna. I'm probably gonna just burn myself here with this discussion. There's a mantle of Celestian and the shoes of Farlang, right? I think they're maybe the mantle of Celestian's in here. No, they're both in Arcana. Do you believe that they're both in Arcana? They're not in the in, the, in here. Yeah. So uh, oh, they so actually have covered, named. Yeah. They mm -hmm. have named. They have named magical items for them, but they're in. But, yeah. <laughs> duh. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on. But they are cool. Both of them are probably not so much adventure material, but both uh, Celestians and Falang are really cool as NPCs for flavor and 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 to quest givers and and uh -huh. and various other stuff. So so they're really awesome Greyhawk flavor lore kind of thing. So, so uh, yeah. it could be a Ford Fairlane there. You never know. I mean, who knows yeah. with a uh... yeah. Who knows with uh, what they're thinking behind? I mean, look, mm -hmm. we all we all have um, uh, we all have our fun uh, things that we do. Mantle Celestian. There we go. It's an Hunter Cannon. There you go. The garment's black cloth color is the seventh order uh, seventh order of clerics, and it has some pretty good uh, has some pretty good uh, abilities to it. For and this is almost like a tra it's almost like travel gear. Breathe and feel as if you were in a cool, well ventilated place where any oxygen breathing creature could exist. Pricks against poisons. It's very powerful. Uh, and then a really cool item, the shoes of Farlane. Mm -hmm. They are classic. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Shoes of Farlane uh, are here. So there are there are items that are named after the deities specifically mm -hmm. um, yeah. here. I just made a fool of myself. I for think a wrong tra reference. traditionally uh, Farlane, he's supposed to, to roam the prime, if I remember correctly. He, he's yeah, he's uh, uh, Farlane. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Thank you for the follow. Mm -hmm. He's yeah, the one oh, you no, could no, encounter absolutely. on on the road. Somewhere. You could encounter him just walking around. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, specifically. Yep. Yep. Farlane and, and also is... Hieronius is also sometimes encountered on on the prime material. A lot of material. Greyhawk deities are, believe it or not. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But they're, yeah, yeah. Um, even Saint Cuthbert. Farlane is most attentive to those on roads and paths or in long yep. tunnels. So there you go. Yep. It's a neat, a neat, two neat deities. All right. Now, as I scroll down here. One of my favorites of all time is a Ilana of the Forest. Yes, same here. Yeah. Yeah. Ilana fills a lot of niches. Mm hmm Back in the day, once again, you don't have many. You do not have articles besides Corell and Lorethian, Loth, and Rilafain Ralafil, that are all in the Deities and Demigods book. You have no other Elven deities, right? Exactly. Roger Moore's yeah. articles haven't come out yet. So you're really yeah. stuck to a lot of options, but when Alana came out, it filled mm -hmm. the gap. Almost every single half-elf in my campaign, like Gazumba, Hawk, all the ones that uh, all my players have, 
that were from Celine or the Wild Coast that were half of an all wor- or ranger mm-hmm. types all worship the Lana. Yeah. Alana was the number one deity we had back in the early 80s. Yeah. So, yeah. And, and I, I have Alana as a, a, an elven and old flan deity that have now become common, so to speak. And But her, her there was some uh, a god that was, it's kind of, we don't know if, I, I, I will probably have her as, well, since ancient times being worshipped both by elves and flan. So it, it's coming from a long, long, long time back and then now become common among woodsmen anywhere so to speak can, can worship her yeah um and uh symbols of unicorn horn which are good alignment yep. perfect mm-hmm. you know yep. uh you know forest meadows yeah, it, animals flowers for, t- for fertility yeah it, it's the, the the god that that good good-hearted wood folks and and that so. anywhere needs that so to speak is the deity for them i yeah. wish one of my players was on Right below Alana is this, and I've showed this before. I'm going to show it again. I don't care. Buckets of ice cold ones. This uh, we knew this guy, the, uh, and I forget his last name. Dave. Oh, you mean the 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 case for the miniatures? And... Griffin Games, look, Haddon Heights. That's a height where I went to high school. I'm a town next to me. Haddon Heights, oh, New Jersey. Oh, cool. Yep, we know him. Yep. He uh, yeah, he's had a store in his apart um, in his house yeah. upstairs where he sold a bunch of Parthas and stuff. But that was early because nowadays yep. there are plenty of, of mm-hmm. several uh, sellers at, at at Gen Con and others who are have yep. a whole series of, of boxes like this. But back then, it was probably not that many. And look, there's only five percent sales tax in New Jersey back then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're all gonna push through to Gary Con, so. Alana is a is a um, yes. Uh, you're gonna be trying more than just a spotted cow. Trust me, there, uh, Courtney. Be, uh, there'll be a lot of uh, options, <laughs> but it, it'll it'll be a fun time. Yeah, it yeah. says here she can take Fal- the form. Falsus. Yeah, yeah, Sorry. Falsus. Yeah, uh, mm-hmm. forms a human or elven female. So either have chestnut yeah. or black hair. Mm-hmm. So yeah, that that's when I I mm-hmm. realized that okay for me it's it's elven flan or, or yeah, coming definitely. from those old old uh, and then become more and more common so to speak in yeah yeah because like so uh, there, there was a uh, an Allied Hobbies chain uh, in South Jersey and he actually sold those cases in those in those stores. I should have. Yeah. I never got one though. It's just. It's cool to see these old ads from from old dragons. Why they, does your they... half elf ranger not worship Alana? You could. That's a great question. All right. Yeah. So, because um, I made her worship Solanar Thalandera, which we're not going to talk about tonight, but I'll share it. No, you. but it's an elven. That's an elven or, god. Yeah. That's an <coughs> elven god of archery. Yep. The reason is is that House Reston, the house that you belong, your character belongs to. Worships more Solonar than Alana. That's why. But you could change it. <coughs> I am perfectly fine with you changing the deity. That's, that's fine. Yep. That's a good thing. You can make it, you know, as you get become newer players, this is what we want. This is, let me explain this real quick. People who are new to the Greyhawk, as a DM, you try and help them out and try and give them ideas and suggestions. As you learn more and more about Greyhawk, you make your own decisions, and your DM is mm-hmm. going to be absolutely fine with those decisions you make. As you, and yeah. that's what you know, we do a lot of these discussions on. So if you think Alana fits your character more than Solnor, the Elven God of Archery, I'm fine with that. Yep. So, yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Of course. So it's a good question. So, um, Alana is not good. Yeah. Good question from Blue Rugby. There are like three archer deities. Which one, Solnor? Uh... Uh, Who said that? Um, uh, blue rugby has a good like there. Oh, blue. Three. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ooh, so now I'm kind of curious. I'm. Uh, I'm which other think... ones blue? Which other ones yeah. are archers? Uh, now, so yeah. here, here was our predicament. Giving you some of the history of our game. There are no deities. We had a ton of humans that were. Remember, Len Lakofka's archers out. The black archer. Who's the black archer? Falcoon is another one. Okay. But before good, that, good yeah. we had Uller from the uh-huh. Norse, mm-hmm. who was in the Deans and Demigods book, because between 80 and 83, there are no archery gods. That was the only gods. thing you had. Yeah, yeah mm-hmm. that's the only one we have. So, oh, see, Demi-Human Deities is another, you know, place Ship. where there's a lot. That's, yeah. 
That may be a, uh, that's a, that's an FR one, definitely. That's that far. Tritharian is a good, is good, but Tritharian's not an archer. It's not an archer. No, not not particularly. No. No, not special. It's not tracker, specializing in but archery. Not an archer. But, but definitely not against yeah. archery. So, so yeah. uh, um, and and Alana is Alana Solonor um, are, are the two, and uh, and uh, Falcon is another one, which I, I have especially priests of all of them written up, all three. Because oh, it's it's, yeah. it's 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 an interesting one. That's a Sewell one, right? Which yeah. one? The Falcon. Oh yeah, it's one of the lens. Mm -hmm. Yep. Absolutely. We could talk about That's her. That's what I thought. Well, since yep. we got up here, let me see if I can. We go right here. Now, first we have Falsus. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Which is kind of an interesting misspelling there. It's, it's um, kind of, yeah. Sam, we Sam, uh, he did Aquaman too. Come on. Len had a fixation on Aquaman. <laughs> I'm not going to go oh, yeah. to what the fixation Which was. Which is kind of boring. <laughs> to me in, in that, yeah. <laughs> I think a, a watery god needs to be more than Aquaman. Yeah. So here's Falcon, god of the open air. Mm -hmm. This is a soul god. Yeah. Lesser. Who? Trivia question. Falcon. Falcon. Falcon is the god. Is the father of what deity? Let's see how good you all are. Uh -oh. I'll give you all ten seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Who's Mumbo? Sahin. Sahin's not even in in, uh, in this discussion. No, but it's part. It's an elven deity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You got it. Salmon blue cord. Yep, cord yep. and brawler, which we'll get to. Yep. Absolutely. So Falcon is a, a powerful bare-chested man. Falcon fights with a longbow and dagger only. So here's the cool thing. I have a specialty priest written up, and um, Wal uh, Alan's got a specialty priest. A Falcon who just used in a previous uh, earlier. Uh, are, are you in the next uh, sixty-nine now? Or, or no, no. I I, I popped up a Sewell God. So oh, that, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. I, mm -hmm. From Lens, yep. yeah, just to talk about archery. Yep. Um They can only fight with daggers immediately because it says right here, uh, Falcon fights with longbow and dagger only, and it says it right there. And when I made the specialty piece up, I said I'm sticking you to it. He didn't like it, but that's too bad. So you can fight dagger, dagger. <laughs> yeah. So, um, but. Um, a little bit different spin, you know. Leonard Len had some different spins on his uh, deities um, than yep. uh, than the other ones. So, but there's another option for archery. So, yep. Oh, I'm sorry, you're lagging. Yep. All right. Uh, whoops. Sixty. We're in sixty-eight, and that. Yeah. Yeah, Sam. I'm, I I agree with you. I I always uh, said Falcon as Falcon, so to speak, but it's spelled different. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Falcon. Yeah, exactly. We, we should not talk about Aquaman. <laughs> and it was it was not spelled that way. It was A K W A M O N or something. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Aquaman or, or or something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. Uh, so that's sixty eight. Some good deity options. Mm -hmm. Definitely some good deity options. But it's cool that we have these old art articles from. from these here, are the way Christmas. better because inside you get some in, you get some insight, some thought insights that don't make it. And it, the articles are a lot longer than in the other books. Yeah, right. They're, they're, yeah. It, yeah. So, so in order to get the whole picture, you need to read the old stuff and the new stuff, and 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 yeah. then you need to to adjust all the mechanics yeah. you get there into whatever system or rules reference you use many many you can use cnc pathfinder 5e whatever it is level up and or oh, now tales of the valiant and a whole bunch of others that yeah. Jeff, that can be that's exactly how it was no curtis i i kind of eliminated the the the, the non-human deities for and the monster mythology ones for this discussion because we have so many other ones that are, you know, because yeah. Roger we'll Moore, maybe we get Roger it, yeah. on and we can, we, yeah. we talked about him when he was on. Maybe we can get him back yeah. on and talk about can, him. Yeah. But we mentioned so. them here and there when we get to Yeah, definitely. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So Dragon 69 is a, one of the, is so awesome. This Dragon magazine is, I could do an entire discussion on this uh, uh, one alone. Um, and I'll show you why. So. Uh, look, Marvel Marvel superheroes are, is in here, I believe. Uh, 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 yeah, um, more pages from the mages. Elminster offers magic lore on page sixty-seven. So we uh, we actually have uh, um, early Ed Greenwood in here. Um, Lehman's tiny hut, the entertainer class. Uh, so another Leonard class, which is yeah. Brulax. 
Hope you guys all had a great stream. I wish you know. I wish I could hang in there for it. Hello. Um, yeah. Great to see you. We are talking deities, lesser gods, and greater uh, lesser and demigods of Greyhawk. Please feel free to join in on the discussion. It's great to see you all. I'll hit you out with a double shout out there. Um, so yeah, so you have some unbelievable things in here. Also, you have which comes out and and we made some changes to the thief, thief acrobat, which everyone knows from the cartoon. Yeah, they call it the split a split class, and I guess <laughs> yeah. this is where it appears before we got into unearth arcana. So yeah. So Timothy, you got my uh, message on ap appearing in the game uh, in the, the show on the twenty. Um, 8th of January. Uh, let me know if you could do it and if you could do the 7 o'clock hour or 8 o'clock hour on Eastern, based on Eastern time for the uh, Prelude show. Um, a week from upcoming, no. Yeah, a week from Sunday. I can't, I can't remember what day of the week it is. Right, let's, go to, let's go to the deities in this one. Page 27. Yeah, these articles are fantastic. Um, so Istis is a major goddess. Mm -hmm. We'll skip. The major. interesting ones. We have yeah. to time. We'll, yeah. we'll do one on majors. We'll do all just yeah. one just on majors. Yep. All right. You're one of your I favorites. Think we have an interest. Yeah. yeah. Uban Obadai is a really cool the one. Shalm. Yeah. So so and now comes the question. Maybe you've talked about it a little bit when we talked about druids and stuff. So 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 I have many old flan. That's that's my druid, so to speak. So the druids are just the, the name of of the priests. Of the old flan and Ubadhai and Biri and 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 several others are are their, their gods. So it's like a faith, but the pantheon of gods and Ubadhai is one of them. Yeah. Um, so when it talks about Ubadhai, mm -hmm. um, an archaic deity of nature in the wildlands, one of the most yeah. ancient known, mm -hmm. having been worshipped by flan prior to the arrival of invading invading early. Yeah, I, I kind of <laughs> took that to heart and and say it's it's one. Yeah, and and so I have Beery and and Ubadhai are kind of the opposite in 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 some ways. They're the same thing. They are the nature and the, the planet and the world, but but from two different perspectives, so to speak. Yeah, the full golden ballad. So, and I've discussed this before in my campaign in the Vesvi. I have you know we talk about this uh, on um, conflicts uh, on on Gabin on Sunday. I have the Alana. With the Master of the Hunts, with the Serenus deity, uh, you know, all the druids in there. Um, but the, there's a fourth, a uh, major fourth one that kind of stays out of the frame. That's the Obadiah. And that I have from here is the old, old faith, the ancient ones. Mm -hmm. And I have the Obadiah druids, the ones that are still around. Hey, Fulcrumith, good to see you. Have, um, have the power of, the, of tattoo magic. So in my game, I actually have, mm -hmm. a, you know, they get, yeah. to, it's a special, you know, a special ability, mm -hmm. um, which I yeah. thought was cool. It's just because they're, they're just, they're there and they're just, ah, they're above and beyond all this fighting between all the, bickering between all the other ones. Uh, so the Shalm, it says, you know, the Shalm is a patron of Druids and a friend of those who dwell in harmony with their natural surroundings. Characters who de uh, are creatures who despoil or wantonly harm either animal or vegetable life are his foes. So there you go. Mm -hmm. oh. And he, he, you know, he has a, a favoritism toward. Um, um, here, here's an interesting thing. Here it says, I don't know if I buy this or not, but it says here, majority of Obadiah's followers are male, and those of Alana are female. Right there, I'm interested. Mm -hmm. uh, you know why? That might be. Yeah. But yeah, might be. Yeah. yeah. I I can definitely. See, see, that might be a cultural thing. Women followed Ilona and, and men knew about high back in the day. Yeah. Yeah, it makes sense, uh, uh, Sam, be. about the, yeah. 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 So. That, that could be. Yeah. Yeah, just a majority. It doesn't mean that there's like 95% females. Or there no, but it's, yeah. percent, you know. And meaning there are plenty of religions in the real world that only has male priests, for instance. And some others in ancient time. Uh, had female priests so 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 there there you have inspiration you can take ideas from the real world and and use them in your fantasy yeah. too and it might not be worshippers it might be clerics and priests it might be that Ubadhai had male priests and 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 Ilana had female ones so yeah that's so, another possibility yeah let's just show that I want to show this real quick Oh, this is page, yeah. Pages and the Mages, which turns out to be a book that Ed puts out after this. The latest words of wisdom from Elminster, the sage by Ed Greenwood. So there you go. And this is really old. 
Here's the Magister. Look, he talks about the Magister. The Seven Fingers. The Life of it's Thor from 83. Yep. 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 So this is pre. Forgotten Realms is not published yet. Oh, it's that's 85. true. It came out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah the, so. the gray box. Yep. Yeah. So this is Ed early, in his early days just uh, submitting stuff for. Um, wow, there's spells in here. I, I, oh, there's a Laryl spell right there. Cool. One of the Seven Sisters. So neat. Let's see. What convention can you go to? <laughs> I don't see any near me. Coast Con. Yeah. So. All right. Let's go next to 70. The Smith NPCs in this one. Yep. So. Full, oh, okay. Yeah. Eric. Eric does a lot. Eric bases everything, though, on the Fey. Isn't that where he went on that one, though, Sam? He went into the Fey Wild with that? Yeah, the local one. Oh, cool, Varl. Yeah, neat stuff. Look at that. Look, there's a Mulvey. There's Mulvey. They're the advertising Mulvey box sets here. So, let's see what page we got here on this one. <laughs> Excuse me, I got this tickle cough. Page tw <laughs> It's blank. Look, look at this. You want to talk about bad editing? Denny's and Denny got the Great Hawk. Uh, and there's, there's nothing it's there. There's no page. <laughs> oh, oh my the, on, gosh. On, on 70 now? Yeah. Yeah, 70. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Jeez. Oh my gosh. That's funny. Ed Greenwood did the Smith NPC. I didn't even know that. Oh my gosh. I got to bust the stones about that. Yeah. I did not know that I did that. Holy. Wow. I learned something today. Yeah, here comes some interesting. This is ones. all. This is all the Kena uh, social status, yep. which I use in my game. Everyone still a little bit, not much, but it's on your. It's on the character sheets. So, yeah, uh, for, I didn't know that either. That he did the Smith. I mean, most of those classes are done by Leonard. All the, you know, the entertainers. I love and that alchemists. falling down uh, article. Yeah, when it states that it's not the fall that kills you, it's the, the when you hit the ground at the end. Boom. Yeah, that that's that. It, it, it's so obvious, but it needs to be written out, stated. So yeah, these are definitely gods and gods. Sudden stop that kills you. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, so uh, it's a cool thing, and it makes sense. And uh, look at the, look at the way the drow are, are separated. It's, it's the same thing in, in the game. Bakum's a major yeah. god, so yeah, yes, caring. Yes, but we have the next one. Yes. Yeah. All right, there so you Zaggy. go. Yeah, so and, and it's interesting uh, because uh, it's the spelling has changed. So Zagig, or, hang on a second, because it, it's one spelling when he was a living person. Then... I think it was sag, uh, and then it's with an I or a Y, so to speak. So, so uh, there's so been a lot that... of different changes on this, um, and um, yeah, Alan Groey on his site talks about why or yeah. the theory behind it. Yeah, I think so, some of it was, yeah. was just not edited properly, but eventually that was. I forgot which one was which. I, I think is Sagig with a Y is that the god and and after this one with a Y is the god and without yeah, is, yeah. yeah. and Sagig with it with an I yeah. is is the the person so yeah so Sagig becomes a demigod of Bakub mm -hmm. Bakub yep. doesn't care if he does or not nobody apparently cared enough to make him <laughs> his uh, his helper so to speak so so yeah. I think the uncaring is a facade to some degree because I think a god needs to care but not in the sense that he 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 wants he he's not a well wisher so to speak but he probably cares he's, about he's his more own a powers. god of magic right yeah yeah but he cares about his grip on magic and and he doesn't want to be challenged and stuff like no, that. no i do so. have especially priest of baka written up and have a couple okay. in the campaign yeah yeah <coughs> but i think it's cool so because Michael. this is also both baka and sagig are deeply rooted in greyhawk lore which i think is really cool oh absolutely i mean yeah. this is, so, so this they're, is they're as greyhawk really as it cool. gets yeah yeah the, the other some of the other ones are more on the fringes like celestian for instance he's there he's written in but there's not much to go this is more kind of tied into this the, yeah. the lore deeper into the lore Bokob is thanks to Zagig, Bokob becomes key, so to speak. But otherwise, Bokob is also kind of just, but he's uncaring, so he's not supposed to be in, in the. And, and Zagig is, that. um, you know, uh, Castle Greyhawk, Ruins of Greyhawk, yeah, all that, of, and Mayor, mayor of, Greyhawk, of, Mayor Greyhawk exactly, City, and, 
Yeah, Back land in the day. The, yeah, and the the god trap and a whole bunch of stuff. So so he's really into stuff. So it's 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 really really cool. Yeah. Yeah, but see, Jeff, I'm gonna, I'm gonna soapbox it here. That Phil Collins song, I don't care anymore. It means he he does care, and that's why he sings. I don't care anymore. Mm-hmm. So that's a double entendre there with, with yeah. Phil. That whole album is Phil uh, whining about his uh, ex girlfriend. Oh, so, okay. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's what it is. All oh, those could be difficult. <laughs> that's yeah. what the whole album is. Yeah. So, uh, it's funny though. Is that uh, Taylor Swift wrote songs about her ex and stuff too. Oh right? yeah, but the, yeah. yeah, this we're, do- we're talking about the eighties. A lot of artists have done that. So, <laughs> yeah. Or you're so vain, Carly Simon. So, uh, uh, Zagig is a. It's a very angry album. You're dead on, Rob. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, Man, uh, we have a couple. So we, dark, yeah. we have a couple mages that worship Zaggy in the game because they're just like I don't. I, I, it's yeah. not my thing. You know, religion's not my thing. So okay, Zaggy, I guess is my god. Yeah. Uh, but that's. I, a, I think yeah. I love that illustration yeah. there. Yeah. It's really, really cool. That that's that's yeah. yeah. So, it's pretty funny. Um, oh, you. Oh, good, you, Greg. Greg um, who, who? So, Greg, who else is playing in that game? Well, Carlos is a fundraiser, so um, you and Michael Zudrak are playing. That's great. Figure out who else, uh, if you know, that's fantastic. Well, Carlos is going to be coming on the, the show, too, um, on that Sunday night, the Sunday before, to discuss it. All right, so Zagig is a, is a, is a um, humor, occult studies, unpredictability, and eccentricity. Mm-hmm. There you go. Few, if any, hold him as their deity. <laughs> yeah, but it's interesting because that's also uncaring in a way, so mm-hmm. to speak. He, he he doesn't seem, yeah, being unreliable, just a, a, a kind of a crazy, crazy dude. Yeah. Look at those in detail, Rafa minis in there. Woo-hoo-hoo. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Actually, these, the Giants are, they're the psycho, um, the Etna. Oh, look and, really and cool. The, the, before Shining are too bad. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So. <laughs> All right. Oh, here comes. Um, this Old, must be one. Uh, uh, Oli Demora must be uh, uh, one of the favorites or, or more popular when it comes to the common folks, so to speak. The rogue, the wandering minstrel. Yeah. Right. It's bards and uh, and thieves. Yeah, and it, a lot of people probably want to to have a drink to Oli Demora. So it's yeah. It talks Music, about revelry. Yeah. It talks about. Um, there are a few de- chapels dedicated. They're always located in large d- towns and cities. Shrines are not in common. So there are two pr- supposedly two rustic hostels located in the central Flannis. One in the Wild Coast, another in the Cron Hills region. So, that you know, it, it's in my wheelhouse area here for Aldemara. We have some... It tends to... So for us, in my game, it tends to... They are... The thieves, a lot of times, are multi-class or dual-class... And they tend to be demi-human, so they worship the demi-human deities, like Irvan Elisir, or, you know, it, that's the direction it tends to go. So I don't have a lot of old Demara fo- uh, followers in my game, but there are some. Um, so uh, here it is. When old Demara was once trapped by Zagig, the mag- archmage forced him into a carapace animal shape as punishment for attempting to steal Zagig's trove. <laughs> so... Even though Aldemar escaped his fate, he retains the ability to create a horny shell on his back. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Yeah. So, what's up, Arthur? Uh, thank you there, uh, Rob, for doing that. Oh, what's contended with? Yep, there it is. Eric and I came up with the idea to rescue Rudd from the God Trap. Wow. Uses the cat. Cantelli of the Eldest, who made the first Cantelli in the real world. Sun Tzu. I have no idea. Oh, real? Oh, <laughs> that's awesome. Now, um, <laughs> that's, that's pretty cool. Did not know that. Vainamoinen. Uh, Vainamoinen. Finnish hero guide. That's, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Oh, the same. One of the only morning ones that kind of, live. Yeah, and Morning Canaan also sounds very Finnish. Yeah. So. Lemon and Canaan is the one with his mother took the big uh, rake to get him out of the water, right? Because he died, right? Is that the okay, one I'm I, thinking of? Yeah. 
Yeah, that's what I thought. So I didn't realize that's a morning cane inspiration. Makes sense though. Yep. But one's not a mage. They're both not mages. Mages. Lemon I cane guess is more all of a, the gods yeah. in old folklore were magic in one way or the other. So yeah. Oh, that's cool. The creator's a lining kugel. There you go, Curtis. Get that beer reference in there. Yep. Uh, so Armadillo's kind of... That's funny. Yeah, so um, good to see you, Gary. Um, so, and once again here, you see a specialty priest little tidbit coming out. Clerks of this deity are trained to have the ability of hiding in shadows so as to be equal to a thief one level lower than their clerical level. <coughs> so you see and they get changed off at eight so you see these abilities in these articles are, are start to uh, you know really start uh, you get some feel to uh to the direction um which will come in in the in the official play in the second edition but it, it's there it's there and it's like infancy in in these articles here so a cool car a cool deity Ola de Mara. i think there's one more yeah. nope that's it in this one God, look at how bad those miniatures are. Phew. Oh, not too bad, <laughs> well, I guess, for, for the time. Its, for, for their time. Essex, yeah. 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 Star Trek, the correspondence sure game. Sure, so not that good. So. <laughs> I will start. <laughs> yeah, I'll play by mail. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> That's funny. All right. Let's see. What we got here? Fifty-two. Oh, seven, which one? Uh, the next one, uh, seventy-one. Seventy-one. Which is the last one. This yeah. one's got Tritharian in it, so it's good. Here come new Druid spells in here. Okay, uh, a new. Oh, that's the next one. Cavalier. Yeah. 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 Some good stuff. These are. If you can get a hold of these and just go through. Oh, so quasi deities are in here too. This is the one with quasis. Yeah. Yep. Heward, we talked about these. Keatum, Merland, which is, they spelled that wrong, Merliand. Really botched that one. And uh, and and Kellen, which which is a, a little bit of a higher level. Now, you know, I know Gary has a bug about slavers and uh, they turned them into might demigods. Might be the PDFs that are wrong, too. They might be. Might What's that? Not, if, you go, if you go to the paper copy, that might be. Might be the PDFs that are wrong and not the PDFs. ah yeah I'm not it might be it's yeah possible. I have to look at the yeah I have to look at the the uh... yeah scroll, scroll. but I got the these are from the those CD DVD yeah look at that you want a boot hill adventure you got a boot hill adventure in here too no yeah, the, yeah these are, I I I doubt that I I just think they had real bad uh, really really bad uh, um, editing back then. Yeah, might be. Yeah. All right. Some good ones here. Arithnal. Yes. Arithnal the many. Mm -hmm. Arithnal is. Um... Well, here we have a crossover to humanoids, too. Well, yeah. You do to some, to like bugbears and gnolls yeah. and, and stuff. Yeah. because Just like uh, Elana and Ula are right. the demi-humans. These are. Because uh, uh, you don't have Roger Moore's out yet either because he, he makes gods for them too. Yeah, well, you, yeah. Then you add yeah. a whole bunch more. So, yeah. So, Arithnal is. Um, it's Uridian you, common in, in yeah. the 83 box set. So, so it seems to have Uridian roots. Yeah. And now worshipped a little bit here and everywhere. So yeah, yeah, very humanoid power. Um, unless you are a uh, you know one of the uh, free weavers and stuff, you know, Arithnals too. Um, uh, the many is the deity of capricious malice, hate, envy, and panic. Look at the charisma minus four. Not a very well uh, attractive being here. Said to reward his faithful servants for their fickleness and wickedness. <clears throat> Arithnal stalks battlefields in order to strike fear and rout whenever possible. So most evil deities that we've come across, or we haven't, the Roll and Cabulus and all, um, you know, they got eyes here, but really we only talk about Hexter and Arithnal for the most part as, as mm -hmm. purely evil. But this guy's is chaotic, chaotic evil, and the God of Slaughter is pretty bad. Um, so, uh, and he has some uh, some serious abilities here. Um, 
yeah, with wounding, but it's mostly the gnolls and bugbears. Uh, you may get some chaotic evil um, giants as well that worship a Um But yeah, it says a deity appears as a seven foot tall, brutal uh, uh, human looking ma uh, male. Yep. Has mad, dar darting eyes of dull green color, which are horrible to behold. So. This is a deity that if you come across followers of Arithnal, you cannot negotiate with them, or at least 99% of the time. Barely talk to them, I think. Yeah, it's absolutely. Just, yeah. yeah, absolutely. Especially the priests, or the clerics are probably yeah. crazy. Yeah. Absolutely. They are probably literally crazy, yeah. Well, if you go into the third edition fighter book, you, you have not the Free Reavers, but you have the Ravagers, right, in there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, which uh, you know you have to kill a, a ravager just to get in, which doesn't make mathematical sense, but that's okay. So, um, bloody Marys, yes, awesome. I need a bloody. Uh, that would be great in the morning. Oh, Cabulus is a major god. Always love this picture of him. Oh, uh, one of my favorites out of all these articles is that one. Just looking with the, it's like you can barely see like the rotting teeth here. Barely, it's just like oh. Um, but he's a major god. Uh, another one you can really go a whole campaign on, um, fighting Ancabulus, the god of suffering and disease, uh, sickness, yeah, nightmares. Re no, roll the Reaper, major god as well. Yeah, but then we have the one of our favorites. We, we got yeah. Where no no no. Yeah, we, uh, where did Tritharian? We missed Tritharian. Where the heck was Tritharian? I, I I didn't see him here. Yeah no all right so round all right. So, if anyone Rally knows, Shaz. Alec, yes, rather shares. If um, Earth is a good time to whine about how I don't have a copy of the Vortex magazine with it. Yeah, see, perfect. You don't. Uh, that's good, uh, Michael. Uh, it's good to have those. Just on the old, yeah, we could do that, Ron, on the old advertisements just in there. Rally Shaz, you look for the kind of bad, not not just luck, but bad luck. Yep. Misfortune. And, and if you want to see uh, someone role play really, really good and and nail Rally Shas and and, and Rally Shas cleric, it's Eric Mona. It, well, damn, it's so good. You get to see plays. him twice. You get a yeah, chance Vener twice. Yeah, Venerian Ward. That is such an awesome portrayal of of a, 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 a Rally Shas cleric. It is. That is like wow. It's it's yeah. It's so so good. Uh, and and here and if you get a chance to see him during the fundraiser event, yep. Eric Mona will play Venerian Ford here and at Gary Khan with the Slav Squad Squad. So you get to see him twice, very yep. soon. You know, the next two, yeah, you know, two times the next three months. Uh, so uh, Raul is the, uh, the god of bad luck, and the, the, he's a, it's a funny, weak, bizarre specialty priest class oh, for this yes, for this so one. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Um, because they can have a lot of good luck, but then if they get bad luck, it's it's really bad. It's like catastrophic bad. So, oh, he is. Gary, yeah, Eric's playing in play, Eric's playing in the Slav Squad game Friday morning. Curtis, absolutely. Yeah, a hundred percent. So, um, yeah, you, they have gauge attacks. They have all sorts of things that Eric's good <coughs> good at using. So. Now, I'd say, okay, is this my favorite? No, because I like Washri even more, <laughs> which is just a, one of the most bizarre okay. deities there is, right? Now, this is a demigod, the Hopping Prophet. <laughs> just a crazy, I mean, uh, I uh, it's an easily. I, I, I've always asked who made up Washri, and no one can tell me. Who made the deity up? Because I just want to buy them a drink. So, yeah, Gary. No, no, he's at both. Eric Mona is playing Venerian Ford during the fundraiser and in person at Gary Con with me, with the Slot Squad Squad. He's playing two times. Yeah. Yep. Eric will be at Gary Con for the first time. Weija is pretty cool too, Chris. But Weija is a greater power. Um, but we can talk about her. Um, so the Hopping Prophet, lawful neutral, which is really pushing it, evil tendencies. Notice, um, notice, uh, and Curtis is going to have uh, flashbacks here, 
But Washi himself, I made this spell up. Uh, you know, if you ever played Hools, you know that. Washi can cast a warts enchantment, which will cover the victim with huge knobby warts. <laughs> Washi's blessing. So, for some reason, this guy thinks, well, I'm a human, that's not good enough. I want to become more toad-like, because then I'll be more perfect as a human. Which is really strange thinking. And they also love to, they like, he likes humanoids to serve him, but he likes destroying demi-humans, which, which is really funny when you think about it. It's like, but it's such backward thinking. Ouija is the goddess of simps. That is funny, Gary. That's so true. <laughs> She's so hot, yeah. Yeah, I love, I, I really love Washry just because, and that's why we did Horror in the Holes with the first part, you know, the based on Washry. Um, just because it was so stupidly disgusting and fun. So, the hopping prophet. Now, I missed... I missed Tritharian, and I don't know where I missed him. I must have he not scrolled an down enough. One. Hang on a second. He was in uh, 69 or something. Oh, you, you know what? You know what it was? Yeah. Uh, uh, it was under St. Cuthbert, I bet you, and we didn't go that far down that far, right? I said we yeah. were going to do uh, eyes in St. Cuthbert. Uh, uh, it's, it's 68. Yeah, that's what it was. Page 70 and, and yep. 68. Yep. There we go. Okay. The summoner. Yep. So. Often underutilized. In, in Norker, well, yeah, we'll talk about Weejaw. Because I don't know if Weejaw should be a major power. I just don't. Maybe in Soul Realm, but, uh, you know. So Tritharian. Um, yeah, I agree. Uh, better than Underground Soul. I, uh, Gary, and that's why I use her. I don't like her as a wide open greater power. So Tritharian. Um, look, it's spelled wrong here. They spelled it wrong. Tritharian. Yeah. It's Tritharian. Yeah. Another they, they, almost all of them are spelled wrong. Wow. God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Is Got he, it good. Yeah, but he's spelled right in the text. No, I have not. We have not covered Mayheen. The reason we haven't yet is because we're going through just the dungeon, the dragon magazines. Mayheen doesn't yeah. exist yet. You know, but we can get to Mayheen. Absolutely. So, Tritharian the Summer is the deity of individuality and the right of self protection. The rune in pursuit, which I always thought was a great, a great deity. I I, I like it that the Narwhal headhunters are Tritharian worshippers. Um, just and that and that they have enmity between uh, themselves and Foltus, especially the lawful neutral Foltus. It's just it's it's a perfect mix. Um, uh, I like that. Um, oh my gosh! Which one of the three Brits did the uh, Night of the Chase, which is Tritharians uh, in third edition. So it's really, but I don't know. Tritharian kind of disappears though. Which is weird. How it, it just—I don't know if what what the issue what Tritharian was, but kind of like goes away in publications. Yeah, it's strange. Bad time for the Hopping Prophet is a adventure card in Greyhawk box set, Parker. Yep. No. No, it's just bad. No, it's just, I think it's just bad misprints showing how bad it was back then. Yeah. So, a great deity, cat good. I think fits the idea of what a cat good character is. You know, individuality, self protection, liberty, retribution. I, th I kind of like it where, where they went with that. So, yeah, Folsus is just terrible. So, yep. Okay. But he's spelled right in the text. It's only the headline that. Yeah, all spelled. the headlines are like off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, all right. So let me see if I can go. Don't have it up here. All right. Um, we did not do 67. We got. So, St. Cuthbert and I use have enmity, right? And yeah. so we have Ayus here, and that's a terrible, you know, oh, yeah, much pictures. better pictures of Ayus. Oh, yeah, they're much better in other places. Ayus yeah. the old, this is the initial Ayus, uh, you know, it says whether Ayus is a human who has become a demon, like, through the centuries, or whether he's a, and this is, a, a, some suggest, a Blyba of, or, uh, uh, of Oak, Orcus. So, but he's a, you know, a major Cambian. It becomes very powerful uh, in future. St. Cuthbert is... Um, you know the the of the cut of the cudgel, 
uh, lawful government neutral tendencies, you know, the billets, the, the, their sect of clerics is all split. Um, so this all goes back to the original Temple of Elemental Evil, you know, and that's where you have Cuthbert on one side and the Iusians on the other side, and then in the middle, Zogtami is trapped there, and, you know, you got Loth in there, mixed in there. It's just a mess, but it's a fun mess. So, yep. Yeah. But in, in my in this article, I'm not going to go into detail because that will be to spoil it. But in this article, there are some cool stuff that I've taken to heart in my I use in stuff. I use. Yeah, cool. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Yep. 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 So it is it's it's super cool. So so read these. Uh, so one stuff. of these things right here, I'll just show you one. They have this in this mannequin like form, I use the ability to generate a disgusting spittle. They turned that into a spell in second edition. Right, that spittle spell yep. is actually in the Greyhawk Adventures book, so yep. yep, they do they do uh change that in there. Okay, let me go here. All right, so the deities are even less in this book, right. But there are and mostly they're. It's just a. I guess they're they're limited by what they could fit, you know, in here. So you, you, yeah. there's no new ones listed uh, um, except maybe Ula, which Ula is not listed in the uh, in those articles. So Ula is the only one that's a major deity though. But let me go to um, see if I can pull out real quick. I'll go to. I know I have it right here. I go from the ashes. <clears throat> Uh, good, it popped right up to them. All right, now we got more deep. Now they got them intermediate powers. So they change it to lesser and intermediate powers, which is okay. I mean, if you want to, if you want to split hairs, fine. Um, all right, and uh, but we have a new one here. So we, uh, well, we got Biori, Greater, Bakum still here, Istis, right? All the Graders, Paler Greater, Neural Greater. These are all Graders. Then you got uh, Rouse Greater. Then you got Celestian. We discussed Saint Cuthbert, Alana discussed Arithnal, Farlang. Heronius, <clears throat> Hexter, Len Lendor. They put Lendor in here. Here, so um, and we can talk about uh, Obadiah's in here. Cord. All right. So we'll, we'll go over those uh, from Len. We have a little time. Foltus, Ola de Mara, Procan, another Len one. Tharsden is in here. Uh, but that's you know, the dark Ral and Ralishes, and then Ula Tritharian. Uh, I thought Mayhin was in here oh, under demigods. Here, Mayhin. Okay. So, the cult of Mayhin is one considerably on the increase in beleaguered, non evil Flannish lands. Mayhin is Debbie power of protection and survival. Mayhin rose from mortal ranks as an epic hero, a pal, and a paylor. She does not originate from Earth and has traveled with Paler's aid for some unknown alternate world in the Prime Material. So, yeah. Now, I think, why do they do this? I think they do this, Anna, because that way they don't have to tell you what the backstory of Mayheen was. Okay. Right? Yeah. Like, oh, so she came from another alternate Prime Material. Oh, if she yeah, came it, from this, you'd have to tell what the story was about, mm -hmm. right? So, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it's a simple way of, of yeah. just uh, yeah, saving uh, column space or something. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Why is St. Cuthbert called Saint? Because, Hager, um, that's what he's called in real life. Yeah, uh, that's exactly. a real life deity. Yeah, or, just like Alakbar like, and, and yeah. stuff. They, they just took some, some, some. They just took it right from real life. Yeah. Saint Michael would have been another one. Yeah. yeah. Carried uh, over from uh, Gary's personal campaign is my guess, and then didn't get changed enough, or, or so they just kept him. Yeah. Uh, let me see here. But I like um, uh, Mayahin is is it's interesting. Yeah, so Mayahin is is a very um, positive. Mm. Mayahin has a big yep. following in Harby, right? So uh, especially too. So uh, a whole a whole sect. Yeah, of, I have heard sorry. in Shieldlands too. So, so that's good too. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, so um, so she's a goddess. That's an alternate to the Heronius feel to it a little bit. More, you know. I, yeah, I also see it as a way of pale or to cash in on the the when the war 
breaks out and stuff like that, they need new champions. So it's okay. It's, yeah. So I have it that then then when when the war hits and stuff, you need you need heroes, so to speak, and 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 that's where she comes yeah. from. So so yeah. That's funny. That's funny, Gary. So once again. As we look into this, and we discussed this a little bit the other uh, the other day, as you get more cooks, the broth gets gets diluted. So, who came up with Mayheen? Probably Carl Sargent, right? Yeah, that's my guess. Yeah, yeah. probably Carl Sargent, and he may have had this yeah. deity in his campaign, and he said, "I'm going to put this yeah. in here." Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I don't like the, the like you said. I, I don't like the coming from another world. Kind yeah, of thing. I want them to be. Kind of rising from the ranks, so to speak. So, uh, and I would have been better. It would have been better if, like, and Gary, I guarantee you're going to agree with me on this. Rick Rose said he had a thing for female paladins. Well, we all have a thing for female paladins, Gary. I mean, that's <laughs> yes, come on. We all do. We all do. Yeah. <laughs> See, mm -hmm. um, but um, <laughs> my um, God, now I just lost my my train of thought. Oh my God. Oh, Scott Benny's original saint article yeah those are neutrally based white right even cargath is not so the article's written in a neutral base it would have been better if it was generically described in the here maybe oh you know in a land you know land to be determined by dm this she was a hero or something Instead of put, saying another alternate world, it's, it oh, feels yeah. like the Rennie again, all over again. Right? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. To me, it's yeah. just a way of, yeah, yeah right. I don't like that bit. Which either, is okay. So. But uh, the Mayheen has a good specialty priest class um, and has some, you know, and once again, now we're getting into the realm of you see the sub uh, spheres of influence and things. It says here, this priesthood is still organizing itself, often under the auspices of Palor, to Mayheen's priests are most respectful. There you go. They're combat. They're combat clerics, basically. That's what they do. They use bastard sword. Then, uh, so they are. Yes, we won't go back to Heronius again. <laughs> but yeah, right, Gary. But the, the article's written so that you can take Elador and 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 all the other ones, Bane and all them, and place them in your Greyhawk however you want because it's neutrally written, right? How many of us? Uh, uh, here's a rhetorical question, back, Gary. Rhetorical question: If Scott Benny's article, of those saints, were written in Forgotten Realms, would any of us have ever touched them? And the answer is no. Right? That's the point. Of, uh, that's the point of the neutral written. Yeah. Written. Yeah. That's so. the prob prob problem with uh, right. having silos in form of game settings. One probably yeah. the main reason that. Wizard Coast don't they try to stay away from the concept of setting these days? Yeah. Right, but but he's uh, he's right. Gary's right there. They, it was probably they were a Greyhawk base, but he just couldn't do it in there. So I think that the way it's generically yeah. talked about the slide and all the yeah. other stuff going on in there is perfect because now you can just take it and you can place it wherever you want in your Greyhawk setting because yeah. you know that they, all those belong in Greyhawk. So um, there's also convenient realms and Dragonlance were published in '83. Yeah. yeah, that's true. That's true as well. But Ed was writing. Ed was writing for... I'm just using that as an example. Ed was writing for stuff. I'm just saying, if it was placed in another setting, we wouldn't look at it. So we're lucky it was neutrally written, is, is, is was my point there. All right, yeah. so um, there you go. So you have Mayheen added in here. Now, let's... Uh, what time we got? Okay, we got some time here. I'm going to close yeah. out some stuff here so I don't crash this frick everything. Let's look at a couple other deities. Let's go. So it's greater, but let's do it. We've had requests. All right, let's just do it. Because Ouija, Ouija, Ouija is another oh, Len yes. deity. All right. Yeah. I never thought of her as a greater god ever. It just doesn't get that. Feel, she feels more cultish to me. You know, like. Un, second, yeah. To, to, uh, so. Waterlands is not Greyhawk as in Dragon. Did it appear in Dragon? But Ouija is, is uh, Sewell, so so, yes. so I can definitely see her as a greater Sewell god. But that greater Sewell god, she... yes, definitely for Sewell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she might have been a greater god that is now diminished because it's, she's no longer worshipped as much. Well, that's not no, because if you look into the third edition and stuff, she's under greater gods. Then 
she's she's on, she gets bigger and more powerful and more powerful. Uh, you know, <laughs> just, I don't, I yeah. don't agree with. <coughs> but it might be other parts of of the world. You never know. The right. school might be strong somewhere still. I'm going to. This is a Len article, and I'm going to put. Uh, the Jay Wrench, and everyone's going to go, that's a one. You throw that line out, Gary, right? You're going to say, I throw this line out that the theocracy of the pale is not one worship. Um, and the very last line here, all right, in this article. I don't know if I can. We Jaws worshipped in highly lawful and civilized communities, including Lower Altarma, the Scarlet Brotherhood, and the theocracy of the pale. Ta da! So there you go. Just a little sidebar there. And this was a Len, but remember, this is a Len article going back. <laughs> See, I knew, Mike. Then you're arguing with a dead man, Len, uh, Leonard. Uh, you are, Michael. And that's not, you can't, he can't, you can't win that conversation. So, there, I got you. One of these many inconsistencies. <laughs> that's in exactly. It is. Yep. It is. It yep. was Leonard thinking about stuff. Yep. Yeah, exactly. That's all I'm saying is Len, it's Len being Len. That's all it is. Mm -hmm. So yeah. um, the, this is such a great and one of the best specialty priests that there is in, in my game because they get necromancer spells uh, in, in, their, in, their, in their clerical spells. The goddess of magic and death is such a great mix. I mean, I, I commend Len on this, this deity. It's one of my favorites of all time. Just a fun, fun, um, a fun one there. And you got that lawful neutral with the evil aspects. You can worship her in a lawful neutral, uh, a lawful neutral take, which is perfect. Um, and uh, she does not like raising the dead for using them, for animating them for uh, for combat purposes. That's not what she's about. She's the goddess of death, not undead. If that makes sense, right? Yeah. She's not on any good terms with Karak Deity, but um, but I think she's hooking up with one of them, if I recall correctly, which is really weird. So, is she with Zerbo? I forget which one she's with. So, in Lens Defense, Gaiax did not confirm the deity of the Pale until his novels. Yes! And an official graph publication was confirmed in the phase of this, as we not know. Yes. So. It could be. It could be. It's just Norbo. That's it. Okay, thank you, Norker. I knew she was banging one of them. This is okay. Um, so, if you come across a, a, a priestesses or especially priests of Ouija, or Ouija is a big thing in Diamond Lake, right? The uh, what's that? The Green Cult? I forget what the name of that cult was. The special cult was in the. It's it's in the um, Age of Worms, right? Which is really cool. Yeah. Uh, which is neat. The Green Lady. Thank you, Norker. The Green Lady. Um, so uh, some good subcults for her. Uh, because she is more evil than neutral, you know. Death is, but a great, a great, uh, a great one. Yes, I love Diamond Lake. We used Diamond Lake when it first appeared on the Greyhawk map. All right, let's do a couple others that I have here for Len. <coughs> Excuse me for coughing right in. Okay, cool. Fight on. God of beauty and nature. Isn't he pretty? Yeah. Oh, Aquaman. We already discussed that earlier. Phaeton is a tall, slender, youthful-looking man with light complexion. He can shape change in the form of any being that normally inhabits a forest environment, including that of a treant. So he has kind of good with neutral tendencies. Um, Len doesn't like very goody-goody two-shoes. It's for like Lydia. Um... Car um, deities. He just doesn't like them. He likes them all to have a little bit of a gray area, which is kind of cool. Um, so, uh, yeah. So, God of Beauty and Nature. I don't have any Phaeton worshippers that I'm aware of in my game at all. Uh, you could have Druids, Elves, Rangers. It's a good one uh, to have, uh, to use. Once again, soul-based. Look, um, looks like a bitch like Richard Grant. That's funny. Hey, Yes, they're hating on Aquaman. I can't believe that, Troy. Phaeton's cool. Zerbo is well. There's multiple. So Len has multiple sea deities. He has Osprum, Zerbo, and Procan. Three of them. But the Sewell uh, was supposed to be a, an ancient so, yeah, yep. uh, marine kind of sea culture back in the day. Not 
not lately, but back in, in <laughs> awesome. ancient history. So yeah. Procan's not school, thank you. Yeah. Not Procan, thank you. It's Osprey and Zerbo. Uh, so Zerbo got to see money in business. What a mix! Another loot neutral deity. Um, so uh, and he has a trident like Neptune does. So that's probably where he was thinking. This is not you know, um, but uh, I forget what the difference between Osprey and Zerbo is as far as powers. So got a boss statues. <laughs> yes. Is that, do you really think that looks like? I think it look. He looks more like Lyle Alzado than he does Tom Selleck. Everyone, Tom Selleck, <laughs> <laughs> right? Right, Curtis. That's Lyle Alzado, definitely. <laughs> Ravishing Rick Rude. That's funny. <laughs> oh, that was good. Oh, that was good. Osprey. Goddess of Water Voyages. <laughs> uh, so another, so uh, multiple, this, she's lawful neutral, um, and she has a, a um, flowing gown to resemble blue-green seaweed. So um, she does never uses fire spells, and uh, so she is more of a, Osprey's a god of like, you're on the coast and you're fishing. Uh, I'm sorry, Zerbo. Osprey's the one. My ship is going from A to B, and I don't want to get. I don't want it sinking. That's what. Uh, that's the Osprey mission. You, yeah, you you pray to her. So, yeah. Dolphins are her symbol. Uh, a sperm whale, or three barracuda is her symbol. Hmm. There you go. Dolphins are chaotic evil. When did that happen? What? Uh, he's just kidding. Yeah. Osprey is only on fair terms with Zerbo. They do not battle over the oceans and will combine forces to do battle with any forces that threaten safe travel. So there you go. Or, or across the sea of our life within terms. So, yeah, they are. Very, uh, so more more great lend deities. I got a couple more here. Just want to make sure I don't open too many here. We did Falcon. Or, oh, here we go. Okay. I don't, for some reason, I don't have Jaskar. Lydia, goddess of music, light and daylight. Neutral good. So a sage deity. Kind of like the Della bit would be, uh, but but for, for for the soul. So, yeah. Lydia is, uh, uh, you know, seems to be that, uh, uh, you know, also monks and bards. So, probably more bards and monks. Um, yeah, her ability, she has stage ability herself. So, um, music, light, and daylight. So, it's kind of cool that Glenn has thought thought this out and has spread out, right, Anna? Spread out the uh, the areas of, of, uh, of, of uh, worship that they do. Gru does. <laughs> so, Lydia's a... Uh, Here's another one. Clerks, Lydia are usually 80% female, too. Yep. Yeah. Uh, one that I've never used at all is Braum. Uh, neutral, lawful, and evil tendencies because she's insectite, industrious. And, uh, I've never used a Braum. Anyone in the campaign use Braum? Nope. One I've never used. Less use I can see less using her, Norker. That's good. Yeah. I can see that. Yeah, definitely. Well, I believe that us <coughs> excuse me. Huh. So there you go. Um she has power over insects. So I guess uh, I guess Len goes. You know what? We don't have an insect goddess in in, in Greyhawk. Let's make one up. So, she looks pissed off, too. I got one more. I think that I got the article for. Let's see. Norbo. Yep. Norbo, the god of luck and gambling. So, uh, the Sui's uh, all of Damara. Except this, uh, and, and on Ralishaz, but good luck, not bad luck. So, um, yep. 
Next to Cord Norbro is oh I forgot Cord. Did I do Cord? Damn. I've had Cord the, we mentioned Cord the Brawler, yeah. Norbro's the yeah. most popular god in the Soul Pantheon next to Cord. Wow. Did not know that. I didn't know Cord was the most popular. Cord the Brawler. And then there's Lurg, too. I'm you know, so um Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So another uh, uh, for thieves and uh thieving and uh you know, those that gamble and those that are into the nightlife, you have a, a good uh, deity here for you. Uh, patrons of thieves and assassins. Once again, chaotic neutral with evil tendencies. So everyone's gray area in Lens for the most part. Uh, you know, you don't get, uh, um, God, uh, the goddess of um, Beltar is their evil her evil deity. Um, that is like goddess of like uh, beholders and all sorts of monsters. Cord is Cord is a popular. <laughs> we Cord's one of our favorites. Um, we have a, a lot of Cord worshippers in our game. Oh, here he is. I missed him. There you go, Cord. Mm-hmm. Oh, he's in the thing. Oh, I have Falcon and Cord split. That's why. Here's Cord. Cord is um, basically uh, barbarians. The bar- uh, barbarian types, um, you know, types, uh, let's see, just just call the brawler. Now, he's a greater god, which is strange. I don't know. Because I think his father's a lesser god, which is interesting. Hans and Franz, I'm going to pump you up. That's funny, Gary. So, holy symbol. All right. Lots and lots of deities. This just, as you can see, we didn't even touch Anna. We didn't touch fl- very few Flan and very few Beckloonish. Uh, you know, we didn't it's get to... because the... um, Len and others were not... Flan is the yeah. forgotten ones, so to speak. They seem to be... Oridian and Sewell are the ones that seems to be most interested, that that, that were part of the, the lore and people were more interested in. Yeah. Flan is kind of half hidden just like the elves and 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 some of the dwarves and no mission stuff and halfling so one thing about cord that's cool cord is quite the fool for a pretty face he favors elven and human women but also has consorted of other humanoids even giants the world is full of his sons and daughters but few if any of them can claim get demigod status less than one percent oh my gosh so imagine how many that are out there <laughs> yeah, less than one percent. Wow! You must have eighteen to twenty in strength, con, and dexterity uh, to even get there to start. So, uh, to determine whether an offspring of cords is entitled to demigod status, wow! So there you go. So you can actually play uh, play that you are a son of cord in the game if you want to go there, which is kind of cool. So, yep, that's neat. Yeah, and there's so much, so so much early written up. Yeah, just I Zanye and Zuokin. So Zanye is in the original box set, right? Which I may still have that yeah, one up here. Be. Yeah. I'm on the spot. Zanye. There's Zanye. Mental and physical mastery of mind over matter, twilight, shadows, and stealth. Neutral deity. Zanye is one of the rare deities of Baklunish who has maintained, attained a measure yeah. of servers across the Phalanus. Mm-hmm. Notice Zanye doesn't... Does, uh, all the other first edition stuff, Daniel is really not mentioned that much. Now, Raxavort's in here too. They actually have Raxavort in here, which is the god of Zvarts. Yeah. In the, in this one too. Uh, so, um, yep, Zanya appears in human form, but of, of either sex and of any age. So, yep, the perfect mistress, but is a server throughout the pursuit of martial arts. So Zanya is kind of a monk. <laughs> Yeah, no, Raxford, I could have sworn it was in here. 64? Dragon 64? Yeah, yeah, Dragon, it's in there in an article, it's it's in there by itself. It's in okay. there in the, in the, it's in there in the Rob Kuhn slash Gary Gygax events uh, articles, if I recall, and they just threw it in there. I could have sworn I saw it in here. Maybe Let's I'm, see. maybe I'm hallucinating. But I was shocked when I uh, when I went through here and I, and that racks of work. Well, this is in alphabetical order. Maybe not. Maybe I'm maybe I'm smoking something. Rally says, "No, it's here." Racks of work. Oh yeah. <laughs> I was like, there. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just see if there was anything more written here, but yeah. It's crazy. 
The racks of where it's actually in here. Yeah. Yeah. So this goes all the way back to eighty three. The racks of where it is in here is in here now. Um. Yeah. What What does this mean? Night flutterer. <laughs> Can someone tell me what a night flutterer is? <laughs> Raxor's Lord is right kind. Back Mr. S. Night flutterer. Because, you know, my mind just goes weird places. So, a moth. <laughs> okay. Bat. Um. See what our forms. Oh, he can take a yeah. He can take bat. There it is. Yeah, rats and bats. There you go. <laughs> yes, yes, exactly. It, it's events of the southern eastern flats, which is a Kuntz slash Gary Gygax articles where they did all the updates, right? But that one's just about racks of words, Sam. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So that's a good memory there. So, so note that. We did not even scratch the surface on. We already did a while back. It's got to be almost two years, probably. Saints and um, Saints and um, quasi deities. Um, we got yeah. some graders, and we got all. We did some humanoids in the past. There, <coughs> you said there's almost eighty to hundred, Anna. Yeah, all in all, I think in Living Room there were there's I think way over seventy, and then it depends on how you count different things, meaning. In in lore, there there is more separation, but but on the other hand, in it, well, in lore you don't include like like uh, demon lords and stuff like that. But I definitely want to include them in the in the ranks of of, of divine creatures. So yeah, which is perfectly fine. But I knew I, for yeah. this discussion, but I knew we weren't going to get through. We were barely yeah. going to get through all those with uh, yeah. Uh, yeah yeah. So it it depends on the definition. Yeah. I would have a definition. That there's several hundreds. In, I think in my campaign that will be considered divine beings, but and, and there will be major uh, demon lords and devils and stuff like that. That would definitely qualify. Meaning Asmodeus is one of the most powerful ones. He's he's like a more powerful than most major gods. He runs uh, several planes. Get us it's the same way. He's also very powerful. They're so powerful they don't need worshippers on the prime material plane the, the way a lot of other gods do. They run other gods. That's where they get their power from. So, Right. I would say the the, the infernals have a different yeah. power source. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, they, they, yeah, they, they, they gain power by dominating other deities. Yeah. So, um, Wanted to just go over a bunch with you all tonight and give you some ideas yeah. on, mm -hmm. uh, you know, s things you yeah. can do in, in a whole many, so many different deities. And we just scratched mm -hmm. the surface on just the ones that are, uh, you know, really Greyhawk based, not the one, you know, not a lot of the ones that are, um, you know, um, beyond that with, uh, uh, you know, uh, all the, the monster mythology ones, because there's a mix, they're all. You know, coming from yeah, but Forgotten Realms this, and Greyhawk and Dragonlance. Yeah. <laughs> and we touched on several times. I mean, if you look at the published sources, there is a lot of ambiguity because oh, yeah. it, some a lot of it had needed to be... First, there's some contradictions that we found out now because Len wrote it this way, someone else wrote it the other way. <laughs> yeah. And then it's also a lot of it that is like face, uh, Bastion of Faith and stuff that doesn't have the Greyhawk... Uh, logo on it and it's 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 written in a generic form even if it was intended to be greyhawk so oh, yeah. so there's a lot of, of of kind of problems with the lore that way so so that way you have to kind of interpret it and run with it the way you want to in your campaign and that's the thing with any of the stuff you're gonna but run greyhawk with it. is to meaning yeah it's published over 40 years and there's a yeah. lot of of different by several companies meaning there's been different ownerships and and stuff over the years and different editions and whatnot. So, yeah. So, Anna, what is going on with you as we're rolling? Look at that timing. Pretty close um, there. Yeah, yeah, I'm still deep into to uh, getting things ready for, for GaryCon. So, that's my I main haven't thing. I started. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. But again, that. I can, uh, I posted an article uh, now with, with my uh, very much uh, in the. Um, my rules on on the deities and That's it's awesome. it's a working it's a working progress but i have there's a, a pdf listed there's two types of 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 gods there's ascending gods and emerging gods and they come to be in a different way 
and 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 so on and they're divine tears so i have 10 divine tears and a bunch of emerging tears so so if you worship a tree enough or or the sun or something they can become gods too and that's probably how Paylor and Obadhai and Beori and others came to be back in the day, a long, long time ago and, and stuff. So, so I have, yeah, meaning how you kill a god and, and stuff like that. So they're not complete by any means that there is a first. This is the second version. So they're, start, they're almost complete. The emerging uh, tears are, are not fully fleshed out yet. There's still some material, but it's it's an idea. You can look into it and, and take ideas from if you want to put more mechanics into how your gods work and if you also want them to work in ways that are beyond monsters, so to speak, meaning the gods are way more powerful than a dragon or, or, or a demon lord individually, so to speak. They are they are, are creatures beyond mortality. So so they can do things that no single being can do. they are more than a being when they become gods and and that's why i like to to oh yes they're definitely declining gods and that the gods have a mortality so they're written in the rules how you kill them off so to speak and and some real if you take really powerful gods they can linger as long as there is memory of them, as long as someone is scared of them, they can linger and, and persist in the memory of that's that's why like a god like Thariston, as long as there's a few priests who can can go on and remember him and stuff, you can have killed all the phylacteries, the phylacteries and all the the, the 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 all the hard evidence of a god. But as long as so meaning if you want to kill Thariston, because you know of him, that means that you have to kill yourself in the end too. Otherwise, you will, you will not be able to kill off the, the really powerful gods. So, so, so I try to build that into the rules. So, so, uh, so, so gods in my my take on it, gods have different mortalities. They're, they're different things. So, if you want to go after like a greater god, you have to kill every cleric. You have to raise every temple. And, and so on and so forth. So it becomes a major undertaking. So that's something that empires can do. Other gods and pantheons can go after each other over long time, so to speak, in order to do it. So that's not for mere mortals to, to do. And I also wanted to have rules that builds in the power struggle between religions and between gods and, and between faith and stuff. So so it's built in there. There's mechanics for it, so to speak. But they are loose mechanics. It's not like really hard uh, mechanics. It's loose mechanics because it's mechanics for you as a DM to inspire you to write the stories and stuff. So, so there's very little die rolls in that mechanics. It's more like a guidelines for how to, to, to treat your deities and your faiths and stuff. So and then uh, let's see on friday there will be um, a mapping live stream again hopefully linda can be there if she had some dental issues that she had oh. to fix so so yep so hopefully she will be uh, back on on friday again so yeah and there there are more coming but i'm holding off a bit because i want to have some cool stuff to show uh, at, at, at the seminar and they of course i will post it on the website too and now nice. it's what is it like 50 60 days 50 days yeah, not like that, that long i mean for no, us, exactly it's starting to be like oh because of mark because you know we're there we're there the second weekend second exactly. and a half weekend of march so, so because, yeah so i'm i'm yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm working hard to get as much done i'm there as 10 days that. yeah so i'm like <laughs> yeah Mm -hmm. yep. Okay. So that is it. Yep. Mm -hmm. So I put down the tuna fish emote there because my guys were tuna fish uh -oh, minute, tuna, last, tuna, last tuna, Thursday. Yeah. This is where we are right now. And uh, and by the wayside. So in uh, and the, this encounter, by the way, is not in the original adventure. I added it. Uh, so uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, yes. A um, bunch of trolls and giant trolls in the northwest hole marshes near Bracken. Um, the legend of this mist woman, and they got duped by by some uh, by this woman named Agatha to find her son, and led right right into a lair of three willows. I thought it was hysterical, and then you know they went all like berserk, berserk from that point. But there's a picture for where we are in the fight, which is pretty cool. By the wayside, Dungeon 19. We finish it tomorrow night. All right, so that is tomorrow night. But then, big adventure on. Saturday morning, right? That is the old one. There is no LJ in that, so I got the wrong one. Uh, hold on. Probably, let me see. 
Uh, okay, well, there it is. It's the right one. The LJ's not going to be there. All right. The Little Bird, Coco Bunny, Cork the Mighty, DM Dave, and Tea Time with Taryn. All right. Uh, Minions of the Sun. This is a prelude toward the for the fundraiser. So um, I'm. Um, they're going to a little uh, quick backgrounds. I got this idea almost from Shacktown and Barge End and Greyhawk. Adam, you have all <coughs> you have all these tributaries, right? Off yeah. of the jewel. And that area where Altamira is. So why Maybe wouldn't the Grey Run is one that from the Gord books? It's it's, yeah, but, it's uh, not from the TSR version, but uh, but even but on Gary named them. Yeah. But even on your map that you created, you got all these little sub oh, yeah. rivers. And they coming are off just the major ones. If you if you go in right. detail, you should see my upcoming Shieldlands map. Then you can talk about tributaries. There are nice. literally thousands of small creeks and 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 rivers on that map. Literally thousands. So my thought is that there's going to be tributaries where little smuggling camps or little shack yeah. have mm -hmm. been built up around it outside of Altamira for purposes of underhandedness or to avoid uh -huh. taxes or whatever. Yeah. So there's one because I have all these uh, all these buildings right from uh, from uh, um, ha uh, Harbor Town from Miniature Building Authority. I'm going to use them and I'll put them on that overlay that you just saw that I used for Swamp and its name is Salty Flats. So something's going on there. The group's going to go and figure out and try and save the day. Minions of the Sun, that'll be Saturday morning. So I got to get all that terrain up Friday at some point in, in the middle of going to a doctor's appointment and working and all the other happy horse shit that's going on in my life. Um, then there'll be a Gabba next week. I don't know what the title is, but the week after is this. All right. Is the, uh, the Gabba prelude show for Feast of Fiends, the, the Sunday before the fundraiser. Which I have it every year, you know, on that date. Um, so uh, we have uh, more and more. Um, you have seats available? Oh, cool. Please sign up. There you go. Uh, go under their Discord um, if you're interested in playing in games uh, for Greg Reborn 5th Edition. Go in and have fun with them. Uh, you know, there's a ton of, there's like almost 20, isn't there, Ron? Um, but uh, I'm getting a lot of, uh, Carlos is even going to be on. Carlos is coming on the show. Um, which is great. Uh, I got Rob Phantom. Rob will be finish up his weekend because he's doing it the weekend before. Uh, we got Greg Reborn coming on. Blue Box Kurt from Blue Box Miko from Folk um, is coming on. I know there'll be a lot more. Probably got a lot more responses while the show was up for special guests. They go over what they're doing on their show. So a little hint: we were talking about this the other night. Tim is not running under um, his reverse dungeon because he doesn't have enough players for it. You will see. Um, a Sydney State of the Invincible Overlord campaign game at 6 a.m. on Saturday, and I'll be playing Dervilli and my Cavalier. So I'll be playing in Tim's game that Saturday morning uh, during the fundraiser. That'll be fun. So that'll be cool going on. And uh, that's far enough out. So, yep. So uh, that's what's going on. Why don't we uh, do the giveaway here so he wins tonight and go from there. All right? Sound good? Yeah. We're going to read into Folk and Myth, who's participating in the fundraiser. So, and they're on, so we're going to raid into them. Ah, a great show. Thank you. That was oh, fun. thank you. Yeah, <laughs> this is good. Yeah, hopefully people, you, you got some inspiration and some, 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 yeah, taken to, to take go away over, from this. <laughs> yep. go over what is out there. There's a ton of great mm -hmm. content out there for yep. everyone, um, you know. By the way, doing that prelude show is when I go over all this, all this, all the cust uh, the gifts, for the, the giveaways. Uh, we got yeah. some cool stuff this year too. Well, thank you, Michael. Oh, Golly. thank you, Sudrak. Thank you. Yeah. Death Okay Golly. Greyhawk wins yeah. again. He had it won a couple weeks ago. Oh. All right, Death Which Okay Greyhawk. I know you got uh, you got the Ravens Rock last time, if I recall. I have. How about a Scarlet Brotherhood? You got that? I got Scarlet Brotherhood here, which is good. Um, I got a Bone Hill. I got U1 and U2. I got N1. You just tell me. So, yeah. All right. You got Scarlet Brotherhood is for the win. Awesome. So, thank you all. Sit tight. Go into, uh, go into, It's uh, I believe it's Miko is the name of the DM. And they, okay. they uh, yeah. if you noticed on the, uh, on the banner, uh, Folk and Mist, they were kind enough to fill that 10 a.m. Friday spot. I could not get filled. So uh, thank you. Yeah, thanks, Jeff. Um, I really appreciate it from them. So I only have two open spots. 
still can get in last second if you're if you're a streamer and you you have the capability and you know about Greyhawk. <clears throat> I prefer you be an affiliate. Um, Sunday morning at ten and Friday night at ten. I still don't have anyone. So um, and that's after um, Blue Box. So they're still open. Uh, but other than that, we'll see you uh, see you tomorrow night, seven thirty. It's Gamescape three D giveaway plus a Reaper. So. Uh, I should, uh, uh, Jeff, but I did promise uh, Folk and Myth I'd rate into him, so I have to do him. Uh, like I said, Folk and Myth vol- vol- jumped in and volunteered. Yep. But I'm glad to see Carlos is on. So, um, yeah, um, that's that's great that he is, but uh, I got to, you know. Got to, got to spread the love here a little bit. But I appreciate that, and uh, we'll see you all. See you all tomorrow. All right, everyone have yep. a good one. See you. We got the wrong button. Yeah, yep. I got the wrong button. Wrong button coming. Um, he has no sound. Uh oh. Yeah. Well, he might have the same problem you had before we started, or just. Yeah, I mean, uh, I had my my personal mic set to the wrong one. But he had that problem some other time too. I remember. So. Like, yeah. Well, I'm glad he's working on it. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Yeah, give Falcon Miss some love. I mean, they are they are uh, hopping into the hopping into the. the yeah. Fundraiser for us, which is I really appreciate it at such a late time. Five, four, three, two, one. We'll see you tomorrow night. We'll look yeah. at that almost 80 people. Bye.